You're watching the Bad Dice Club. Die Hard. I haven't seen any of them ever. Hey, everybody. Um, Hello, I have not seen Die Hard. That I also have not seen. Crazy Die Hard. to me. Is Die Hard with a Vengeance the second one? Uh, it's the third one. The second one is terrible. I think I saw the second one, and then the what's the other terrible Die Hard one? Two. So Die Hard Two is the one that takes place in the airport. Um, Where's the one with? What's his name? With um, Samuel L. Jackson? No. Welcome, everybody. Hate we're, uh, we're welcome. Hi, Hard, everybody. Because <laughs> the one with Samuel L. Jackson in it is Die Hard with a Vengeance, which is part of what makes it the second best one. Samuel L. Jackson, you mean Motherfucker Man? Um, I don't know if he does a whole lot of motherfuckers in that movie. <laughs> I mean, just him in general. <laughs> I think I saw I'm amused Live by that Free sentence. or Die Hard. <laughs> oh, you know what? He's also um uh he's also Alfred Pennyworth in uh the Batmans. Yeah, I saw oh, Live Free or Die Hard, the Justin Long one. Oh. I it's would consider that one actually It had some cool stuff. Number stunts, three. But... Uh then number two is number four, and then I never even saw number five because I heard it was real, real bad. I saw the transporter. Famous actor I watched all is the three guy of them. Who recut the Star Wars movies? Or like uh, the that Hope was fucking. I was gonna say that was Foreman. Uh, who I can't remember Hope his actual name. I really want to see that cut. I um, also want to. Apparently, he shows it at his house. Like he can't show it anywhere else. But well, no, he, he can't yeah, because legally, he'll get, yeah, he'll get Disney to basically make him commit suicide at that point. Wait, Jeremy Irons is in the 2022 Batman? Who the hell did he play? Alfred. Oh. I can't. I, I still haven't seen that movie. Batman, but I did know that he played I, Alfred. I, I, I I so good. Do yourself a favor and watch it. I, I can't make myself. Isn't like, that the like, one where wait, Batman wait. like murders a bunch of people? Is that? He just beats the shit out of a bunch that, of people. Like he always the does. Vampire dude, Batman. What's his name? What? Uh, no, that's not Edward Cullen Batman. Dude in the one vampire movie where they oh, talk in the sunlight. Was. I thought the Batman was Edward Cullen. No, Batman. it's uh, it's uh, Ben, Ben oh, guy Batman. Ben, no, it ben is guy. yeah, Robert Pattinson Batman. Ben Affleck. There Robert we go. Robert Pattinson yeah. Batman. That Batman no. is so good. Yeah, the Batman, twenty twenty two. Robert Pattinson. The oh, he was in that one too. Batman. Yeah, apparently. He played. Who did he play? Is he Alfred in that one? I watched that movie on a plane to the Philippines, and that movie was so good, <sighs> I immediately played it again. <laughs> sat through Batman? and wow. was awake for both showings, both screenings. Wow. Yeah. This new Batman is, is that they, the one you're talking is about? They watch it with you. No, this no. was on the way there. Oh, I, I I watched it. I honestly cannot make myself like that movie simply because they went, "Hey, remember the '90s dark and gritty cup?" Let's just pour this entire movie in that cup for you. And I'm like, no. That's why I love it. I hate that cup. But you're a little Dude, younger the, than I am, so. The fight scene where everything is like just dark and there's just, you only see the, him fighting through like the muzzle flashes. It's so cool. Yeah, so cool. Wait, which movie is this? The newest Batman. The Batman is what it's called. Robert oh, because for Batman. a second I thought you were talking about uh, Equilibrium. No. Because I then distinctly the dude... remember that being in Equilibrium. I don't care. It's cool when Batman does it because it's very Batman. Yeah. And then, and then uh, when he, the car oh, is like so ramping through the fire and the guy's like, holy shit, he's still coming. Oh. Okay. So yeah, Jeremy <laughs> it's Irons such a good was, movie. It's was so Alfred good. in Batman v Superman and then reprised it in The Batman with uh, Robert Pats. Oh, no shit. Okay. The problem that I have with the Batman movies is there. it's kind of the same that they have with Spider-Man movies. You either get you either get a Batman that's a really good Bruce Wayne, or you get a Batman that's a really good Batman, but not both. Um, th thankfully, we did get a Spider-Man that was good at both. But this is also year Hall. zero Batman. I also like, think that Michael Caine was a better He's still like, sad and depressed because his parents are Jeremy dead. Irons is. 
Right. This yeah. is like the year he becomes the Batman. Yeah, but you think of old British person, you think you think um Michael Caine. Yeah, that Michael Caine's great. I like him a lot. But like I just think he embodies uh uh Alfred better than um Jeremy Irons does. Michael Caine does. Jeremy great Irons is a little fan. bit too intense to be Alfred, I think. Alfred's supposed to be a sassy you know what? man. I want to see a Batman where Alfred is just a drunk Scottish dude. British <laughs> <laughs> rain. So no, you have an alcoholic. I can't go. I can't go. You have an alcoholic raising a small child. What kind of Batman would we get out of that? I can I can go around patching you back up all the all the time. You can. I I can't can while you stay up all night. You must get the subtitle on Batman's face visually confused. (laughs) Alfred, I can't understand a word you're saying. Listen to me. That wasn't a Scottish accent. (laughs) Alfred gets really mad, and the subtitle just becomes Scottish nonsense. (laughs) Angry Scottish (laughs) gibberish. It's just a it's just that character from The Simpsons. January camera's not on, <laughs> if you didn't know. Me? Yeah. Yeah. It's been oh. off this whole time. No, it's on. I don't nope. see you. Is the flap Oh, up? I didn't hit the start button. There we go. That's why. Wow. <laughs> why is my car not starting? The key's in the ignition. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of out of focus. That's uh, probably fine. I'm hitting the gas, but nothing's happening. <laughs> Mine's just a button now. <laughs> the car or the, or the camera? No, oh, I can't. Did you guys, I can't put I, my I keys in the ignition. There's no cars. ignition to put it in. I read an interesting statistic. Um, a what? Vehicle statistic? crashes are on the rise, but cell phone use is on the is is lowering. You want to know the reason why? Um. Because all the people bullshit are using... infotainment tablet screens that they have. So, like, they're removing mm. physical buttons. Yeah, I you have to go to like sub menus to to change the temperature in your car. Uh, I have to if I, I want know. to uh, if I want to adjust any of the like vents, I have to go into a menu. Yeah, to do it. Yeah, so your eyes I never should have gotten rid of physical while you're buttons trying for that. To adjust that shit. Ninety percent of the time, I have physical buttons for the temperature, and I just leave it on auto, and it seems to work fine. And I have buttons for my defrost stuff, like physical buttons. So got buttons for buttons. Speaking but, of like buttons, if I want to turn off my traction control, I have to go into a stupid menu now. It's not like a button that I can glare at my wife at while I push it. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, is she with... the one that always puts it back on? No, because I I uh I'm like staring at her as nice. I push the button and we're in the middle of an open parking lot in Walmart and there's a snow on the ground. <laughs> so she she's gonna give me a look and i'm look waiting for the look because she's, she knows i'm gonna whip shitties in the parking lot <laughs> speaking of whipping I, uh, shitties, I did an accidental um, shitty in my 91 ford ranger uh driving my wife to work the other morning well, it was right after we got that snow i didn't even mean mm. to and she's like screaming pretty much <laughs> you know it was just you guys that's ice. probably a new one for island, her she's never all things Dealt considered. You know, uh, there's really not much room in the road for that kind of thing <laughs> in the Philippines. Well, I, I'm guessing there's not enough, a lot of snow no. for that kind of thing in the Philippines. <laughs> what, you can't whip shit? Oh, yeah. Shit. <laughs> That's <laughs> just like, oh, yeah, wait. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a lot of water there. That's, that's about it. <laughs> Lots of flooding, yeah. Which, which would mean it's everything's like, muddy. They're probably used to like the slick four roads. four back-to-back typhoons this year. Ouch. No, you just get stuck. Different kind of slick, though. That's so much worse than oh, snow. No, that's actually oh, yeah. going in the band name uh, channel. With what? the back back, No, back to back typhoons. Um, that's pretty good. Uh, whipping shitties. Does does Faith <laughs> have her driver's license? <laughs> that's <Yeah>. my new <laughs> country band. <laughs> that's a good country band. Does Faye have her driver's license yet? It is. No. It is a good one. <laughs> okay, because I was gonna say, you got to teach her how to how to steer into the slide without fucking freaking out and just whipping all over the road. <laughs> she was like, I don't know how you remain so calm. I'm like, 
Oh, you sweet yeah. summer child. <laughs> <laughs> I was fully in control this entire time. <laughs> I guess, Justin, well, has Cha like, run into black ice yet or anything? Mm, I mean, she's been driving for a while. You ever just whip the wrong shitty and it comes up right? Margo's pretty good about uh, about clearing the roads. Yeah, I do. Not Margo's much. pretty good. Whenever we go somewhere, I'm the guy who's driving because, you know... Control issues. I, will say, <laughs> I have to be able to will say, It turns out guys from Florida don't know how to clear roads. I will say yeah, that uh, most of the black ice that I've actually run into has been in Minnesota. I did that's, manage I to hit black yeah, ice on the freeway. And that's not because the roads are a time. lot. That's because the roads are actually smooth. Yeah, I think that a lot probably of that has something is, to do with it. I've spun uh, around along the highway too. before and then just stopped right on, on the highway. I didn't go off or anything. I've had black ice crazy. a couple times up is by where the, I used to live. That and that was Minnesota. Way? Is that on like the highway or the actual freeway? Highway. Going into highway? Dawson. Is that the hit my on, the road on uh, Highway yeah, 212. Yeah, the scariest one I ever had was I hit black ice on a turn on the freeway. And I was convinced that I was going to roll my Explorer as yeah. soon as the ice ended. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. Let's see how these explorers will get rolled by these. <laughs> oh, 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 Thomas there was trying go. to do that earlier. <laughs> yeah, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, My 17 segue. more My stories, segue, please. Eric. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, tell you a little time off. Uh, we'll we'll back. That's it, Aaron. I'm flying over there and I'm gonna punch you in the face. Good, <laughs> and we can go get beers. Yeah, right. Um, or I'll make you beers. Yeah. You... And I'm only two hours away then. Yeah. Five <laughs> hours away. But, you know. It's two hours if you're drinking. Hey, yeah. guys, let's meet up in the middle and go to Jamestown. Wait, and then leave. Oh, God, things. no. And do what? <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do there? <laughs> Hate There's yourself. A There's a pub, I think, somewhere you can go <laughs> <Hate> to. <yourself. laughs> Get into a fight with oil workers. All right, so we're sneaking through uh, this, uh, this, this, this town. Well, that, yeah, that you guys are in, in the city. Uh, shit has already popped off. Uh, stuff is happening. Uh, tree things is happening. Uh, the whole place has gotten all wibbly wobbly, timey wimey. Um, oh yeah, time is much like a loaf of bread. How so? Thursdays, am I right? I'm referring exactly to the episode. Wibbly wobbly, timey wimey. He describes time as a loaf of bread. Oh, anyway. Please continue. I, it's been a long time since I've actually watched either that Doctor. or um, I thought you were just saying gibberish words. I didn't know those. Like I watch the, it every the, weekend. The general theory is that the fourth dimension time is kind of shaped like a loaf of bread. I always thought the time was shaped like Jeremy Baramy. Which, if it's shaped like a loaf of bread, that explains why cats like to sit like that. I always like thought that Jeremy like that. Irons was shaped like the shape of space time. I always thought it was the shape of water. Anyway, uh, the Jeremy Bear Me thing is <laughs> from The Good Place. Guillermo del Toro. Oh. <laughs> I thought that Wankershim was now the universe. It's always been Wankershim. Uh, I, I, all, I want, all I wanted is, is to be Wankershim. Speaking of Wankershim, let's, beat the, let's see what's going on with these Wankershims with wings. <laughs> it's a temporal paradox. I, I can't not put on. these on. <laughs> it's still one of my favorite lines of anything <laughs> ever. <laughs> All right, let's do a thing. Uh, um, Control sure your lady friend. Parasox. I can't uh, not put these on. <laughs> so stupid. Uh, Any hoozles. Um, yeah, so you guys started... Um, traipsing through the slums uh, out through Monster Town uh, where you ran into a number of strange elementally uh, uh, infused like creatures and whatnot. Uh, I believe there were some badgers that were on fire. Uh, there were some, some there were some was flying mer people. fucking map. Uh, yeah, we, we were we we saw some badgers fighting snakes and went nah, mer people and kept walking. <laughs> mer yeah, people. there was the flying the flying, they were flying around. What about the frankincense animals? Under the sea. Are you thinking? But, of <laughs> I like that hab psychon. 
the what? The new like Hab's new icon. So there's, so there's gold oh, yeah, leather. Hab looks good as hell. It's really cool. Frankincense animals and mer people. No frankincense. Um, but yeah, you guys, uh, yep, left Monster Town, went out into sort of the slums proper. Look at Hab Hab's new sexy token. I see. Yep. Uh, you know what? Here, we'll just do it this way. If you want to see Habs's new sexy token. The hardest part of this game is finding story. my token. I'm always invisible. I know. You, you are constantly invisible. <laughs> You're right. Hey, I love it. There it's you so go. Cool. I found myself. Uh, oh, there we go. Anything. He went Hi to India and found himself. And it is very sexy. Like a lot of ayahuasca. It is a <laughs> poncho, dude. It reminds me it's of a, a, a bot. butler guy from the Transformer movies. It's I a like punch it. bot. I love it. I don't know who you're. I love it. Poncho it's a poncho. I've lost connection to the server. Did you? Yep. We're still good. Okay. Because I don't what? have internet. Isn't there no. the bot? Oh, what the talking? fuck? How are you talking to us? Uh, I don't. So the Steam Deck lost internet. <laughs> oh, are you at the office or something? Yeah, that's why I'm using this thing. Oh. It turns the out puppet. Aaron. It turns out Aaron's been puppet dead for like three for three years, and we've just been hearing his voice in our heads ever since. I okay. I figured now that you weren't working uh, at the place. Yeah, would... but it just so happens that billing is this week, so I have to do some of that in the office. Gotcha. Okay. Well, because I don't uh, have a credit card reader at my home office, so. Well, that just sounds like a you problem. Wait. You're doing billing for the new place that you're working no. at? I'm working both. Oh, I'm only okay. part-time for the optometry practice now. Hmm. Gotcha. All right, well, fair enough. Okay. Quick, Anyways, quick, yes. So you guys... some iPoke emote in the Twitch chat just to bother Aaron. What? What? I don't have that emote, I don't think. Damn. There needs to be know. an iPoke emote just to bother Aaron. <laughs> Is Aaron bothered by eye stuff? Yes, it's very fine. much so. If it's not <laughs> real. <laughs> so if I go <laughs> like this, I'm like... <laughs> oh, that, that doesn't bother me. Okay. Oh, really? Huh. What if I stuck cinnamon sugar in my eye? That would probably bother <laughs> me. That would, that would bother me. You. That sounds fucking <laughs> horrifying. <laughs> Oh man! Jesus so, Christ! So just out to Holy shit! Themselves. We cannot stay focused. It's yeah. been too long. We're all oh. just doing the catch-up thing. Yeah. Well, listen. You guys know how I am. You know that you are staying focused. A wild driver, it, my man. Yeah. You know that staying <laughs> focused has never been a strong suit for me. James, so. that teacher, you just have to get him off Justin subject. Is a little bit better you don't have to do cats. anything the rest of the day. Yeah. Oh, man, I love <laughs> I, I, I'm um, used to hurting children, so. <laughs> yeah. I, I tried to throw I, a lasso I gotta, around y'all, and y'all walked over me. Spent so five years getting that degree for. <laughs> you got to put it to use somewhere. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So you guys made it out of Monster Town. You went into the slums. You tried sneaking around. You're like, ah, we're gonna get around all the stuff this time. We're not gonna fight a single thing. Uh, and then you heard some big, dumb big Griffin bird noises. They're fully on fire. They are very much on fire. They're like that much fire. It's an edge look, but they totally pull it off. <laughs> uh, which, no, actually, uh, you heard some bird noises, and then you saw some big watery bird lions. Uh, Not that, that they were fire. Nope, lions. they're water. That, the badgers were fire. The badgers were fire. Oh. The griffins are watery. God, I just want a subtitle. Well, they're watery, I don't think. So they're moist griffins? Yes, <laughs> you can't. Uh, you can't. They're tear griffins. You can't. Sneak Maybe some pee in there too. Pee tear griffins. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> griffins. Got Us it. almost out of here. Where's the um, you need them? Griffins. And these motherfuckers. But yeah, as that was this happening, you then uh, heard some people like laying down, like swoop down onto a rooftop over here that Just were then laying down a challenge onto the Griffins. 
Uh, and then, yeah, I don't think you guys have quite, like, it's a lot happening all at once, and you guys, I don't think, have quite figured out what it is you're going to do here. Just get the fuck out of here. So. Sam knows what she wants to do. Why don't we go ahead. Skip this fight. And. <laughs> um. And the next roll one. Roll for initiative. And the next okay. one. Ooh, Shoot no, this motherfucker. Oh, no, wait. I got a... Yes, there we go. Make an encounter. There we go. Roll, 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 roll. Roll, 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 roll. That's a 10. Wow. Hmm. I rolled a 7 on the... Or 10 on the die. That's... Oh, roll 10 God, total. do I not remember how to do this? <laughs> Griffin, roll to five. Bra. Take that, you dumb bird thing. Lonnie. Roll initiative. Roll. Bralani, yes. Bra. Oh, yeah. Uh, actually, Blani. um, I believe Mori was able to identify those. That's their name is Bralani. Or no, wait. The not, uh, not you. That's the creature they are. Uh, Awen roll was able to identify initiative. those because roll. I think she's like Plains. part Bralani or something. Yep. Hey. Uh -huh. She is muse touched. Oh. Ew. I don't know touched the a muse. A magician touched me in the cradle. I'm sorry. Why? Oh, no, not like that. <laughs> yeah, her uh, her bloodline is, is muse touched, so she has access to some Berlani Wait. stuff. So she's basically just female Achilles. What? Never mind. I'm trying to make a connect here. I'm failing. So Achilles was dipped in the river Styx by the heel, or kind of. That's why mother. he was invulnerable, except for his heel. Never yeah, mind. by his mom. The witch did it to him. By his mom. Yeah, his mom. The witch was his mom. In some <laughs> versions, yes. Dorothy Mantooth is a saint. Dorothy Mantooth is a saint. In How other versions, you. his mom brought him to the witch, and the witch was a third party, but... <laughs> I asked the witch doctor. She stuck. She stuck me in the sticks. Bump, 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 bump. <laughs> All right. So Drowned it looks like heel. Sam is first. What are we doing here? You think they got McDonald's Sam. after that? Sam. Begin combat. Gormbat. You have to fight these things, or can we just leave? We can. It's up to you. Leave? It's whatever you want to do, my di my my dude. My I want to leave. We're my, wasting time. My die. <laughs> I think Bernie agrees with me. Can I offer a counterpoint? What if every single thing that we skip, Shane puts in the last fight? <laughs> you know what? That's meta knowledge. And well, some of it's tiny wimey <laughs> stuff, so maybe they're like not gonna be able to get there. It's true. Well, we already have yeah, those maybe. other two guys that are fighting the Griffins. But then again, it's very if we help these dudes, th th they, will they then help us? You know, there's there's that to consider too. Ox isn't much of a leader. He's more of a sneak around invisible leader. That's true. Mm. And I can't see anyone. Whose fault is that? Well, I can see Alabaster, I guess. So I'm gonna look over at Alabaster and see what he wants to do. Um, I think it was on the roof above you. Do you ask Alabaster what he wants to do with like a look, not actually talking because we're still in stealth, right? And Alabaster, I mean, you could wait, like, <laughs> I think it you could probably like you're close enough that you could kind of like stage He's whisper only at 10 him. feet away, but yeah, you yeah. can stage whisper. Hey, Alabaster, what are we doing? You ever try to tell of a cat? And you just look at you with those dead eyes and go, yeah, and you just say, don't turn your back on me. <laughs> yeah. I need a little bit of guidance here. Okay, are you you're gonna ask him what he wants to do? Uh so I think that um uh He might know that these things are, right? Or yeah, are they that's... from Nirvana. Um they are. He's from Nirvana. Not. 
yes, are they from... but I think he would know them pretty well. They okay. are, they're not from Nirvana, but they are from Elysium, which is sort of, you know, adjacent. Oh, Elysium's a chaotic good one, right? Yeah. Oh. That's where you drive to for the Walmart, you know? So oh, okay. I think, um, I think Alabaster would be like, The, the Berlani are boisterous at times, but they are generally good creatures. Who? Uh, the loud ones on the roof over there. Oh, I mean, should we run? I, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure, but I do know that the Berlani, if the Berlani Ooh. are trying to fight something, Ninja it, it better stop probably poking. It will probably be in our best interest to help. That's my it opinion. Help? I, I'm not... I uh, I know that, you know, I'm not the oh one in charge God, here. I have nothing to use. My only issue is, if they're made out of water, they don't take decision damage. Everything <laughs> I... <laughs> Saw's real tired of water elementals. They're water. Well, use, use Jolteon. Sam really does not want to burn spells. <laughs> I think we'll have something in place for that though for the final fight yeah, I don't well. think Shane would just put us into a final fight with nothing just use us your cantrips option. then dude just sow your, sow your support you know you know, the thought that you know how cantrips work in 1E they're like create water no direction okay. dancing yeah, light cantrips is kind of dog shit in one create impersonation. some water <laughs> cantrips yeah. do do Okay. It get, the, the water griffin gets larger. At least you have cantrips. I don't think I do. Well, that's the whole thing. Well, no, paladins don't. But yes, that's the whole sort of I have thing in three first times edition a day. Is, <laughs> yeah. is casters are much more powerful as long as they have spell slots. But once yeah. they are out of spell cantrips. slots, they might as well just shoot themselves in the face. If it makes yeah, cantrips are like out of combat the spells stuff. they don't so have. So I have like <laughs> stabilize. Detect magic. Nathan, you're muted, bud. I don't know if you knew that. Discord muted. If it makes you feel any better, Justin, I yeah, also can't hear you, bud. Isn't the sound supposed to be in video? Or no, I no, no, no. Nope. Sound goes through here. The video goes through video. Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a little while. Don't worry about it, man. Yeah, uh, um, but... Nathan's like, well, shit, I've had some... Witty one -liners. good quips. Yeah, I do. No, I that I, I've Nathan. just been listening. Yeah, no, um, I've just been listening. You can always just delay if you don't know what to do. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to delay. I, I'm not going to drop in turn order or anything, but I'm just going to pass on my turn. So Fair I have no enough. Idea. Sam wants to run. Sam wants to just completely not even deal with this because she has other more important things on her mind. But Who's up next? She will wait six seconds to let the team decide. Um, dramatic pause. Fun fact: A one is on the roof of this building, not inside of it. No, oh, okay. Um, yeah, because you guys climbed up, I believe. That's not very fun. Around. It is a fact, though. Um, but that's very advantageous for an archer. <laughs> right? Facts aren't real. A one um, feels weirdly drawn to these boisterous voices. She has no idea who the oh, hell they, they are, are, but mm -hmm. she seems weirdly interested. So she's gonna make her way. Um, across the roof. How can our arrows be real if our bows aren't real? Oh shit! And take, try to take a, try to take a peek <clears throat> at what's going on. What is my speed? It is thirty. Oh, okay. Move Sam control. makes a mental note Oop. to explain to the party about how. Next time one of their loved ones is in a very time sensitive position. He's gonna go shopping. <laughs> Some shit. <laughs> 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 just just kidding. <laughs> so um, are you gonna do anything? Your emotional, here? Uh, in the frozen Roll a stealth check, my god, man. I'll check. Wondering if Why I want to next a up? shot at the bird. Oh, right. Never mind. You're next up in our hearts. 
Um, I don't know. If you're on the roof, I don't know that you would have a shot at the... They're down the ground now. No. All right. Well, yeah, they were... Re remember, they landed and were kind of, yeah. like, wandering around like, and, and sniffing. What if she's standing on the, uh... The do get, like, if you are trying crack. to do it stealthily, though, do give me a stealth check. Um, <clears throat> give me electric arrows. I don't think arrows. really trying to do it too incredibly stealthily. Shocking arrows. He gets the feeling that Ace Berlani have got have gained the attentions, have, have gained the Griffin's attentions. So you're not doing it stealthily? No, and like I said, she seems like oh, she's moving almost like weirdly dazedly, because like you know, she she being an Asimar, she never felt connected to anything, mm. and so she's feeling super weird hearing these guys and like feeling some weird connection to people she's never met. Keepers, mister, you're strong. You can see your rules, right. Shane. That's totally fine for yeah, right okay. now. Uh oh. Uh, one of the griffins does, in fact, whip its head around as you jump from one roof to the other. What? And there goes the neighborhood. I don't think it sees you, because I think you are standing in a place where it can't necessarily see you, <clears throat> but. It has heard a noise. Yeah. It is aware that other things are around and moving at the moment. Um, How many one-liners can Aaron fit into this combat, I wonder? Okay. He's already up, he's already up to three. Big Man <laughs> Mori. Oh. I think I Big I'm Man Mori is probably going to, like... I'm not doing it. Uh, well, actually, you know what? If you want to take charge of Mori, you are more than welcome to. He would definitely do that. Yeah. What is that? 5, 10, 15? Yeah. Um, and like 20. I said, oh, wait. Actually, no. Uh, I forgot. I don't think that this building has a roof. Uh, this is a burnt out building, which is why there is a uh, wardrobe halfway through one of the walls. So I think you are still being hidden like inside of the uh the the building here like the walls are still kind of up but on your next turn you could probably like dive out through here where it looks like the wall has fallen down what's Mori doing there's getting big here. and sprinting straight at him yeah yeah Just like i said there's something. nothing there that you could you could shoot through there if you wanted to oh you could shoot right there from where you are if you had a movement I got a Good Mori action. <laughs> what is is this indoors? Oh, he's gone. Oh god. <laughs> Mori doesn't know what the hell's going on. She's like, oh, I'ma eat mm. that big chicken. <laughs> Just yeah, make him mean, drink that big chicken. Make him sprint through here and crash through the window in front of him. <laughs> drink that chicken. We know how well that goes. Mori, <laughs> uh, that uh, you know what? I you know what? I think Mori actually would do. I think he would move his twenty feet, and then I think he would get the engine moving. Is probably what he would do. Does he have his sword out? He always what? has his sword out. Are you kidding yeah. me? Okay. I think it's his walking. Well, stick. the other thing is, is you can uh, you can draw your weapon as part of your move action. Right. Right. I forgot that that was the thing in this system. Um. Yeah. So. Uh. uh... Do you Fucking... think you want? Do you think get he wants big. to get the ball ro the ball rolling? Oh uh, yeah, he would one hundred percent get big and do all his buffs. Right? But how many times can he do that? He's like, we're gonna. I don't he's know gonna, why that. He would literally be like, we're gonna fight this, right, guys? I mean, it's like inevitable. We're gonna fight this, so I'm just gonna. He's not <laughs> channeling. I'm just keeping fervor. track of the. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Okay, so I'm are you using fervor to do like an enlarge and another spell? Yes. Okay. That is the enlarge. So, so make sure that you do person. the spells, and I will go ahead and yeah, yeah. change him to large size. Well, no, and there's no. for it. And the wall is up. <laughs> <laughs> We've built our wall. Built that wall! Uh, going to standard cast lead blades, and that's his turn. Okay. 
So. Did I program that sound in to enlarge person? Yes, a million yes. years ago, but oh. he never <laughs> uses it. Oh, okay. I don't remember doing it. Like, sounds like something I would do, though. <laughs> so, the Brilani, I think, are going to... Hmm. I'm going to drink that chicken. <laughs> Want to watch me drink that guy? I remember when I drank that chicken. Crash did try to drink a water elemental one time. It did yeah. not go great. And he got <laughs> deep throated by the, by the water oh, elemental. No. It was not good. He got punched <laughs> in the back of the throat. Uh, there's another game with burnt you out building <laughs> I here. That. I think <laughs> that. Aaron. <laughs> Which Berlani yeah. is it? Uh, what if I just jump in this well? <laughs> From the roof. <laughs> <laughs> ah, dude, that would oh, be wait, so did you, cool. Did you do it twice? <laughs> or did you, uh, Thomas, did you do that once before is I joined? Is there another well? Did you try to do it again, I want to say? I think it was or, one time. I forget the exact. I think you learned pretty quick. One, I think one time was enough. Um, I'm pretty sure I was half there for that. I, I want to <laughs> say that was his first game. Oh, OK. I think you were present, but we hadn't found Habs yet. He was behind the Oh, yeah. Office. That's it. That's it. You yeah. were still a yeah. statue at that point. I was a, I was a statue of Liberty. A major award. Yeah. Uh, uh, All right. You know what? I think Must be one of them... ...is... Going to Nah, I think this one will stay here. I mean that's probably the best place for them right at the moment. And is going to go ahead and launch a couple of arrows at the Griffin. Arrow launch. And is just going to miss spectacularly with both shots. Oh, okay. You see the griffin just like throws no. up one of its wings and whoosh, bats the arrows right out of the sky no. as they're heading towards so here's it. Here's the question. Does he miss yes. so spectacularly he gets to roll again against the other one? No. Not that spectacularly. <laughs> unfortunately. <clears throat> um... So that's its turn. Now it is Griffin time. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, yeah it's Griffin time. So here's Get the out. thing. Get out of time. The Griffins do know that there is a giant man over here now. <laughs> I am aware of the man. Blip, 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 blip. I've seen men before. <laughs> I, um, <laughs> I think this one is going to go. That's a big one. Is gonna well, what's their speed? Two. A lot. Damn. Yeah, they're that large, gives but them they're enough. really fast. As More a free action, two. does one of them say, Hi, my name's Greg? No. <laughs> We've been betrayed. Listen, Greg, Greg ain't here. You wish Greg was here. He would kick That's ass. That's true. I do wish Greg was here. I think this so, one's name is, is Juan. <clears throat> Pro why would it provoke? Because he went right through their threatened squares. Uh, I think he just flies over and then drops straight down. He's dive bombing here. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you, Shane. There is never a moment where I do not wish Grack was here. Even <laughs> if they drop down, <laughs> dropping into their threatened square, right? Eh? I've only known Grack for five minutes. Did you come up with that name, Grack? Because that's a perfect name for a Tengu. Yes, I do believe I did. Um, I think I was short for Grackle. Unfortunately, he had to like go past them. Otherwise, he would be able to do a thing, but he's not going to be able to do that. Um, he's going to try and do a big nasty bite. Bird bite. Dumpster head. Uh, and yeah, <laughs> he could die instantaneously. Is Man, going we to ourselves. Yes. <laughs> You're trying to help a guy. Bless you. 
That is going... So, yeah, he <laughs> chomps down on this Berlani's shoulder, and you see kind of like a blood starts streaming down onto silver its blood. perfect chiseled <laughs> chest. <laughs> what is he, a Harry Potter well, that's fan? That's huge. Jesus. Jesus. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> Perfectly chiseled chest. Yes. Oh, no, he's hot. They, dude, they're like angelic beings. They are incredibly hot. Yeah, Just think, disturbingly are they hot. Are angelic being, beings that have six heads? <laughs> no, th you know how Awen is like otherworldly gorgeous? All it's right, sad, it sounds mad. like it's time for the printer's turn. <laughs> yes. uh, I think the printer is going to hold uh, and... <laughs> I think I just have him after the last Griffin. How many actions oh, to you're gonna have the him, donor? You, you want to drop your uh, place yeah. of initiative? Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he's a 3D laugh. printer, and he 3D prints annoying status effects. All right. Well, no, he's <laughs> also the crafter, so he legit is the 3D printer. <laughs> oh, I suppose. <laughs> that, is, that is a way to look at it, Aaron. Um... <laughs> You, you know what I'm concerned about? Where it's is like Hab's printer is next. Where is <laughs> Hab's extrusion nozzle? Boop. Toner is the standard okay, action. Knox is tall. I wish Alan was here. I it is your water. turn now. These water creatures. He's gonna swan dive into the well. Knox a million. Yeah, just. Okay. Um. <laughs> well, I'll jump down. How high am I? Uh, I'd say you're matter. probably a good like. 25 feet up. Uh, well, you're at the peak of the roof, so probably a good, like, 30. Sure. Whatever. Well, yeah, like the... No, I'm just saying. That's I fine. I mean, yeah. Probably more like yeah. 16 feet, unless it was a two-story building. I well, my, In my brain, I was like, I could take one damage. Right? Oh, yeah, okay, that's fine. Boots. boots of cat. Yeah. Yeah. They should be fine. cats and hats and rats. I mean, you could still Such roll cool acrobatics item. to less than that anyways. Uh, it turns into, like, non-lethal or yeah. something. Uh, forget how it works. Three. But... Sprain your ankle roll. I don't know what the roll is. 15? Uh, yeah, I will say that you just end up taking the full damage for that one. You take the well, one you damage. Got a 22. Well, that's fine. That's fine. Ow, my this my ankle a little. This my ankle a little. You're like, you do that thing where you like jump out of something that's just a little bit too high, and like the soles of your feet hurt for like a second, just yeah. like that kind of hurt where it's like, ooh, ah, and then it kind of goes I away. <laughs> I hate that sensation. Yeah, that's why I don't be jumping off anything anymore. <laughs> well, I don't do that anymore because I'm old, but I do remember that that was a thing that would happen when I was young enough to actually jump off stuff. <laughs> He'd be jumping. Oh, Lord, he's jumping. I don't know what I'm going to do in my turn. These things are hard to fight. They, like, fly and shit. <laughs> right. I go there and end my turn. And they made a water. All right. Um. Make difference out of water. I'm gonna hit him. So. Uh, I am going to just have you roll a uh, uh stealth check just to see whether or not you trip face first on yourself. Okay. Don't roll in that one. I mean, anything other than that, and it is essentially, like, impossible to see him. Because he gets a... Not like that. <laughs> Why are you screaming? Oh, no. well, can I, can I, I use my hero point for the name? Automatic yes, fail, you can but... use your hero point. <laughs> that landing really it's sucks. not an automatic fail, but but it's yeah. going that one. I would say, like, here's the thing: is I like, I usually do like something a little extra special for. I don't know why. A little extra special. For yeah. Anatomy. Yeah. I I love that. Yeah. That number, right? Oh well, it would technically be a. 40. Well, no, it would be plus twenty uh, on top of that. 
with the movement. It's still 40. It is yeah. still 40. I don't know. I think you're probably fine. Oh, boy, Do you want to... I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it. Oh, you are fucking invisible, my guy. 79. That's funny. Jesus! <laughs> we, we forgot Nox even exists. <laughs> uh, technically, it's a 59 because Where's you're moving. First? Uh, Where's it's only. First? I, I, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah uh, it's 40 if you're standing still. It's 20 if you're moving. Yeah. Yeah. Still, uh, is, it dark, still. is it dark enough that I get the plus two from darkness? <laughs> <laughs> Not quite, but you're basically at 60, so it's pretty good. <clears throat> All right. So. We've got the next one here. This Brilani. Hmm. This Bruh Brilani. Bruh. I think is going to. I phase uh, into a different universe. Is it eight o'clock? Is going to. Hey, you should unlock the door. Yeah, I th think. Uh, is going to make a single attack against this one. Um, and is just going to hit. Okay. I was really worried that that was not going to hit. Um, oh, is there no. rolling like dog shit? Stupid Rilani. Uh, Turns out the only one that can beat Shane is himself. Hey, well, something like that. Um, So, he's going to do that, and then he's going to fly away into this building over here to try and pull the griffin along with him, which does mean that he is going to Daddy. take an attack of opportunity. Good job. Balls. Um, Thank you for the balls. 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 My tiny uh, balls. I think he'll do a talent attack against him this time. Do Which he is going to miss. So, yep, he flies over here and he's and you hear the Brilani being like, Ha ha, foul beast! Come! And uh, face me if you would! Ha ha! Uh, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. I did too. Is he does he say that in celestial or common <laughs> or some other language? Common. <laughs> common. He no, really no, I mean speaks the, celestial. The, the, no, the, the celestial. The, the, you forgot the to roll did initiative he... for the champ. Oh, I did. The champ and Prescott both need to do initiative. Thank you for reminding me. God damn it! Yep, that sounds about right. <laughs> Yeah, the champ was confused. He didn't know what we were doing either. He was waiting for your guys's. Uh... God damn it! He got lost in his. He got lost in his <laughs> muscles. Over over How the hell did the champ also? That. Fucking, they both nat twenty. That Jesus Christ! Wow. All right. Well, um, that's terrible use of a nat twenty. Yeah, the fucking waste. Just have them uh, take their turns before the. Well, here's the thing: is this kind of makes sense because I think the champ and Prescott would both be like looking towards you guys, being like, "Okay, but what do we do?" What what are we doing though, guys? Bernie's so about the to tell him. The top three in initiative order all delayed. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Jesus. Well, guess you want to fucking deal with this. He's just gonna take off and leap out of this door. Uh, I have him. How, how far up is he? Cool. Bullet. Drop. Uh. I would say this is only like a 10 foot drop, so it's not even going to cause any damage. Okay. It's not even damaging. All right, so he's going to leap out in the air, just kind of whip out his uh, sword. 
<laughs> and, uh, where, where are you there, buddy? He's gonna whip it out. <laughs> he's gonna whip it out. <laughs> buddy, please. How far are you moving to? Uh, as far as I can go. Uh, so that's 5, 10, 15. So, yeah, I think Bernie 20, like, jumps down and completely 30. unnecessarily does a parkour roll out of uh, out of the jump. And as soon as he's out, he's already got his weapon drawn and he just starts fucking booking it. Yep. So you follow the big guy. Unnecessarily cool. <clears throat> um, let's see here. No, they're probably not evil, so there's no point doing smite evil. Like those evil. moments in Assassin's Creed, like Assassin's Creed 1, where the game thinks you're higher than you are, and it does like a leap of faith, and you're like three feet over the like haystack. <laughs> Let's see yeah, here. Yeah, that was always weird. Um, if... Right, uh, a lot of I'm building. To, I'm to like, great prepare. on my nerves, so we're going to switch the... <laughs> just the music the track yeah sure that one happens a lot um ooh, that's fun that's a good one all right but anyway uh prepared action in pathfinder um trying to remember how that works i'm trying to think it can i with my remaining action use it to just like if he attacks me i do this um prepared action i think <coughs> yeah um you can ready a standard action, move action, a switch action, or a free action. So yeah, I think you just need yeah. your standard action ready, uh, uh, still left to do it, and then okay, I have that. Uh, so. you, but you need to set you need to set a um, triggering action. Uh, it comes within my range, which is right in my face. Okay. Yes. Um. That's my turn. All right. Oh, and there's I Alabaster, think the Griffin. Uh, yeah, is Alabaster doing anything? He would go on your turn. Follow the redhead. Aww. I was going to say he can fly right to Sam. you. He goes in the tree. <laughs> uh, the Griffin sees a gigantic meal in front of it, and I think is immediately going to go for it. So it is going to do a charge. Which means it also gets to do a pounce. Ooh. Or an AOP. I think doesn't charge. Does not provoke. Does not nope. provoke. No. Nope. Mm. It's the advantage doing it a charge. Does plus you I get a plus two on your attack roll. Super duper AOP. Uh oh, he's got the super duper AOP. Yeah, oh, super no. duper. No. It's a fight. Not that Our one. Feet. It's a fighting feet. Um, so, I never go for super duper AOP uh, because of this. It, it's just a feet tree, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's the, it's AOP, super AOP, super duper AOP. So, it gets its beak into Mori. Yeah, it was super duper duper AOP. There's a tree that grows feet. AOP 2.0. But thankfully, it only gets one talon into him. Mm. Um, one more talon. Which means he doesn't get to do his rake attacks. Okay. <laughs> what is Mori? A bunch of leaves? Get raked. Um, oh, dude, rake attack. I'm sure. I'm actually pretty sure you guys have gotten rake attacked by the tiger before. Oh, uh, yeah, so. that sucks. Not good. Uh, Rend is bad too. Oh, yeah, yeah, Rake is is if one. they get like two talents into you. Essentially, what it, that means <laughs> is that they then use their back legs to also make claw attacks against you. New kid, like a cat. Mori, new kid. <coughs> yes, like a cat. Or, uh, hab hab, new kid. Hab hab, new kid from orbit. So yes, uh, oh, Mori, Mori, Mori's bleeding a little bit. Mori seems unhappy about what has just happened. I think Mori's laughing about it. Uh, yeah, how dare you kind of way? Yes. Hab hab. 
It's time for you to print uh, or get off the pot. Is he grappled like at this point then? No. no, no um okay. he only he only hit with the one talent, so Okay. I think as a free action, Bernie also would have said to him, like, if you if you're able to just give me an opening. Uh he wants to does he like to charge in there if he can. Uh next turn. <laughs> could you just could you just squish a little bit? Yeah. <clears throat> uh yeah. So uh has already spent a third level spell uh to avoid this uh and it hasn't worked uh yeah yeah that's unfortunate like, what the fuck? um so i am going to use my turn to change the smell of the really delicious meat to salmon <laughs> uh and which will be the end meat? of my turn what are you doing uh, as you might recall, I used major image shit. last game uh, to That's make uh, right. really, <laughs> and I, I just think it's like a really dumb hab hab thing. Uh, I was trying to think of something to kind of yeah, it was like over in this building over here, sort of an area, yeah. right? Yeah, I was trying to think of something to kind of justify not spending spells, and I'm like, you know what? He, he already dumped a third level spell for this, and so I'm just gonna. Just commit I to just it. Have him cycle through. <laughs> yeah, just full, like fully. It's all, like, I mean, if I, I could mean, just like find the right meat, they, they, they'll, they'll <laughs> go for it. <laughs> yeah, that's, I love that thought process. So I'm just gonna do just for funsies. I'm just gonna do a spell. Fuck! What crash. if it works? Hell, you can like I, I'm morph this thing to whatever the hell you want, right? Yeah. So that's my best attempt at a. Uh, Reproducing uh, salmon, uh, really, really delicious salmon. Um, so, <laughs> okay, uh, it's probably it's been like, a while. It's like a cedar plank salmon it. roasted over lemon smell. He's like cycling through it, smells, and it's like, why do I suddenly feel like eating at Arby's? Uh, uh, yeah, I, I think it's been a while since he's had salmon, so his memory of salmon might be a little bit off, which might be affecting the illusion. Um, but all the same. Uh, he is making it as delicious as he can make it, uh, and that'll be the end of his turn. <laughs> I kind of picture right. the somatic components, even though it's just concentration at this point. But I just sort of picture like the the somatic, uh, you know, like him like turning a spit or like you know doing like a, a big cauldron or something to try to make something uh, stewing make in an imaginary pot. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I like the mental image. I know it's not the actual... Uh, cause we, all I see Dude Inferno would be impressed. Uh, but that, that'll be the end of my turn. All right, perfect. Um, yeah. This is why I'm always hungry when we're fighting. Yeah, I'm <laughs> to blame. Pabs and his meat melts. <laughs> um, At least the battlefield so... always smells great, right? Uh, yes. You make it smell like salmon, and it smells like delicious salmon. Like, you can, like... Really delicious. Like, you can smell the, like, it's not, it's like grilled salmon, and you can, like, actually yeah. smell the char of the skin, and sort of just a little <sighs> bit of lemon zest, and, like, some rosemary, and some other spices yeah. you can't really identify coming off of there, and oh, you can yeah. even oh, smell much. that there's, like, a side dish of, like, roasted spring vegetables as well. It's like, as soon as you smell it, it's just mouth is pouring water. Oh, I'm, I'm pretty sure Habs has, like, tried to eat his own illusion. Like, I'm sure he's had, like... No, 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 no. You, you can choose to fail your own save uh, uh, against your own spell. And so I'm sure he's had times where he's just got, like, hard tack or some sort of porridge, and he just imagines it to something just, really amazing. Man, that's good for, like, uh, cravings if you're on a diet, you know? Uh, yeah, <laughs> no, he's... Yeah, yeah. And since that struggle meal where you've got a bowl of rice and you're staring at a picture of chicken. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure you can choose to <laughs> fail your own spells, uh, your own saves, uh, saves against your own spells. That's really funny. Okay, as the <laughs> round comes to an end, as um, this uh, on the me. commotion has been heard, <laughs> you hear up at the front here uh, a group of men going, You took an oath! Uh, ah, the creatures are back, men! You took an oath to set, to protect the people of this city. Hold the line. Oh shit! And you see a group of uh, 
you see, nope, you see a group of the town guard rush up to the barricade up at the front here. It's a bunch Ooh. of dudes. Look at all these dudes. Look at those Look dudes. Look at the dudes. Look at those dudes. It's just a bunch of guys yeah, yeah. men. All right. Uh, the champ, what is he going to do? He very much wants to fight this griffin. Does the champ ever do the chomp? Champ the does do the chomp. Does Mori out of the way and then suplexes the griffin? Could go here. Nah, that's not what I want to do. Oh, yeah. Suplexes Mori into the griffin. <laughs> Keep running to the yeah. door. Yeah. Uh, really oh, he's I'm going to have him double move, and I'm going to have him make a couple of strength checks. Like I said, this is a burnt out building. Uh, he is not taking. He is not taking the time to. Dude, can he clothesline the Griffin? Oh my god, he's streamlining it. <laughs> and our other can Hulk. He clothesline the Griffin. <laughs> Shoulder check the walls and shit. That's so cool. <laughs> I'm flying out this window. Uh, that'll do it for the first one and a second strength check. That'll do it for the second one. Yeah, these are not incredibly tough uh, walls at the moment. Like I said, there's like fire damage and, and whatnot going on. Which is already exploding. Hope that building doesn't come down with yeah, it was already like a on top chance of it. Beat. <laughs> yeah, it's like not even before the fire, so it's like, yeah. Uh, yeah, and you know what? He's going to end his turn on the other side of uh Mori and he's gonna provide flanking. Oh, it's oh, weird. Yeah. The champ looks so small right now. That's weird. I'm not I'm never gonna get used to that. Wow. Well he's a medium sized creature go and I know, going up against I, large sized creatures. I, don't I know. it's just Don't get it twisted. <laughs> he will try and suplex oh, this Griffin, given half yeah. the chance. <laughs> yeah. It's just weird <laughs> to think of like the champ as a small. You're telling me. Yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying. Like he's he's all like, "Hey, birds have hollow bones. That makes the, that means that this thing, this chicken, will be like super easy to suplex." <laughs> it's it's deep, a water griffin. It has no bones. <laughs> and water is also very dense and heavy. <laughs> that, but that does listen. Champ is not the smartest man in the world. Um, my water boneless. Change the smell to cooked Griffin as an intimidation. Uh, you know what? Actually, <laughs> Prescott you is. Say that to have. <laughs> He'll do Prescott it. Prescott is He'll going to it. dip out of the combat for right now. <laughs> And if they think we're cooking a bunch of Griffin, they're not going to want to stay around. Go. We rallied the troops. Yeah, he's going to go check that. on the troops as best sure. he can. So he's going to yep, he's going to go through the hole that the champ just made. <laughs> and what do you mean the bull? Uh, you hear him? Uh, yeah. So Sam, you hear him being like, "All right, men, report! I want to hear what's going on." Uh, and you see the, this guard like turns around and starts like giving him a report on what's been going on and, and mm -hmm. what they're doing and everything. Okay. What's all this I hear about Wibbly Wobblies? Okay! Everyone's favorite, favorite druid. Maniac. Your favorite druid. Facing water creatures. <laughs> How do I do this again? Evaporate. Well, that doesn't right. make any sense. What are you trying to do? I mean, eva if you evaporate them enough, do they become a regular sized creature? Well, I, I know mechanically there you can't do it, but I mean, water does evaporate, but they're like. I'm, I'm gonna drink this, Griffin. Elemental. Yeah. I'm gonna stick my dick like in the hole. Stuff. I'm gonna say. Oh. Don't stick your dick in the hole. Not a square goal, I did that when I was younger. It was, it was a, a bad move. move. You are a wizard. How do you do the? <laughs> how do you do that thing again? Uh, what thing? The uh, curve. Uh, uh, shift. Oh, where you? Uh, where you're like uh, measuring out your move? Yeah. Uh, so you click on the ruler and then you hold down control and then you can click. Yeah. Oh, control. And then, yeah. You gotta be a control freak. What's my movement speed this time again? 25? Uh, I think In you're your 20 because you're a small creature. Yeah, on land you're 
twenty foot speed. You got little legs. Okay, so I'm gonna go here. Glare at Awin. I'm on the roof. You're just staring at the ceiling. You're There's not on the, the roof. No, you're not on the roof. Remember, this is a burned There's down no building, here, so you're remember. inside the building. I forgot about that earlier. Oh, yeah, well, what the? Yeah. It's fine. You're still stealth. Uh, and then chuck a f not a fireball. Chuck a mini fireball. Because I have Firebolt? that. Or produce flame. No, she's just got one of those Fire airport of the mini mini bar bottles of of uh, fireball. Whiskey. There is in fact a hole right next to that griffin now, which should make that a lot easier. <laughs> Champ has profession interior designer on his sheet. We just didn't know. Aren't these water griffins? Yes. Yes. Water. Ooh, that was cool. So, Imagine Sem's, Sem's the kind of girl that would try to burn a fire elemental with a fireball, like some low key. <laughs> Sem could probably do it. That she could, yeah. Uh, it wouldn't do it. <laughs> yeah, she would try it. Uh, well, I, well, I guess it depends on the size of the fire elemental. I think it eventually yeah, they get Yeah, because then it becomes really immunity. Good. Yeah. It's not the size of the our... elemental, it's how you use it. All right. Cool. I do also have to do something for Mori. He takes a little bit more damage than he than I initially thought. What? Why? Oh, sure. Is there a save? Yeah, which the guy no. with the hurt back. Uh, it's because it's a water thing. You took your finger off the piece. All right. So. Oh, I hit it. Twenty-six. With the yeah, you managed to hit it, and yeah, you see that, like this big column of steam comes up from uh, from the side that you hit it on. Um, I'm evaporating it a little bit. Yeah, you also notice that it's a it's a little bit just ever just the you can't even really notice it, but it's just ever so slightly smaller. Almost imperceptible. <laughs> <laughs> hey, cool. Uh, that's Hem's turn. Yeah, you hear it kind of like. <laughs> Scree. Cool. All right. Awen, it is now your turn. Well, now what am I going to do? Shoot it. Shoot this one. <clears throat> this one right here. Yeah, fuck, I'm going to shoot it a bunch. Do it. Let me shot rapid shot. Is it in point blank range? Just barely not. That's a shame. Good five foot step forward. If that helps. That's true. I well no. Okay, oh, five foot step doesn't. Yeah, I could do that actually. Just gonna take a step. And then shoot it a bunch. Gotta Triple get that shot. plus one. Every Damn plus one counts. Shot. Oh, yes. Get that net 20. Uh, do I have the right bug? You don't have the right. Oh, you don't have the right. Oh, you don't have the right. Triple shot. <laughs> Poison barbaro. All, all of that. Why is it always I don't have the right? Attack! Oh some man, bad rocks. That's a lot of dice. Some bad rocks, All man. right. Yeah, you loose. I mean, you are only thirty feet away from it, and you are pretty damn good at hitting things, even from not that far away. Uh, from much farther away. So you do manage to hit it three times. Oh, it was burning arrow. Um, I get the feeling the damage. Cool. It's a thirty it's not damage. That great though, because it's piercing damage against the thing made of water. It doesn't take quite as much damage as you are Any thinking. It damage. Should. Surprise, your fucking prize. I will. Seven, nine, nine, and eleven. So a pretty good chunk of damage, though. I mean, that's even half of that is damage on the board.
Uh, it looks... So this time it actually does cry out, like, not just in sort of, like, surprise and anger. It's... Ow, my bones. My water bones. And... With that... Be more grip dies. Show up. Nope, not quite. <laughs> Damn it. There's a guy with white hair that shows up who sacrifices You guys his, uh... start hearing a strange buzzing. Yep. Ah, oh, that's the me. dumb fucking... The other thing. <clears throat> the thing we avoided. Oh, like oh, the apex yeah. predator person? No, thing. Yeah. we avoided a beehive. Now the bees are... No, it was down here. Eyes. Oh, that was a fucking swarm. If that's the case, we have a sim. <laughs> She does not Good. want to use her spells. God damn it. Get another thing I can't precision damage. <laughs> You'll get your chance. Hey, hey, how the fuck do you think I feel? I just lobbed a bunch of arrows into this thing and it went. <laughs> no, you're uh, this thing went it. from like not injured to badly injured. Oh, yeah. Nice. You took a good chunk out of this thing. Um, took a good chunk. So it is Maury's turn. Sweet. Uh, Fervor Cast, Weapon of Awe. That's a free action. It's the legendary Black Beast of Awe. <laughs> a beast is so thing. terrifying that the animator had a heart attack and died. Oh, plus two damage on rolls. Yep, plus two on damage rolls. You get to go through its slashing resistance if the sword goes through its entire body. No. And then... <laughs> if, if it's wider, if it's yeah. wider than their body, and it can't you reform. You said you fixed this? Uh, I believe okay. I did, yes. Nope. Oh, wow. Swap. Attack one. XC one damage. Uh, I think you have to oh, hit oh. full attack is how you do it. Oh. That's a big okay, well. sword. Number two is a grid. Oh, God. Okay. 113 damage. Holy shit. Wait. <laughs> Why did you attack? Okay. Oh, yeah. This is a, the second attack. So 32 and 32. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's the crit confirm. <laughs> yeah, because there's crit confirm. Yeah, so eight. you yeah. just absolutely... So Mori, yeah, just absolutely bisects this. Can I thing. describe? Can I describe? Can I describe it? Yeah, go ahead. He hits it with the flat of the blade, and it just splashes into a puddle. Uh, okay. sure, yeah. That's a scream. Uh, and, and as as he thing. destroys this thing, it it doesn't like fall to the ground dead. It disappears. Oh, <laughs> part of our magic. Oh yeah, plus yeah. Flanking, that helped. Oh, no. It's an illusion. Now the champ is going to be sad. The champ is a little bit sad. You can see he's like, Ugh. I was going to do the next one. There's still the one more. One. I still have is a it, shot. Does it just like disappear or is there like, does something happen? Does it, it was like, summoned. Warm into um, something? It disappeared. This Brilani has its bow out, summon. and as such is not I see. super well equipped to actually be fighting this griffin at the moment. Um, Summons probably don't have a lot of health, right? It is going to... It's actually 115 damage, because the weapon of awe damage didn't apply. Actually... Uh, yeah, it should be 115, you're right. Um... Yeah, I think it's just going to try and fly away towards you guys now that it sees that it has some friends in the fight. But that also means that it is going to uh, take an attack of opportunity. And I need to remind myself of something here. Um, I got friends. 
Okay, Justin, remind me. You can trip as I know you can trip as a uh as an attack of opportunity. Can you grapple as an attack of opportunity? Grapple is probably a, a feat. St uh standard action, I believe. Um it's not going to be something you can do as an attack. Gotcha. Um, okay, so he's not going to try and grapple him. He's just going to try and reach out with a bite as he runs away. <clears throat> oh lord, he chomped. And he does manage to chomp down on him again. Wait. I thought the elf guy was going first. He's uh trying to run away. He's trying to run away, so he's taking an A up. Oh. Oh. Ow, we got He oh. lands next to uh the champ and he's like, haha, yes! Quite good, good show, both of you. And the champ's like, "I well always met. put on a good show. That's what I do, brother." I was, <sighs> I was here too. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, yeah, and ooh, actually, nope. <laughs> Great, uh, thanks. This is <laughs> this where the. Now. <laughs> this is where these guys mm. come in, and since they all got woken up at the same time. They are all getting added at the same time as well. Lori's going to cast Fireball. Fire. Did you know most curl cowgirls suffer from IBS? Because if she's rooting, <clears throat> you better not believe she's tooting. There's a swarm coming. Mori should throw this wardrobe at it. <laughs> <laughs> That would he doesn't be really have to throw cool. anything, so he'll take a he'll take a massive negative. Yeah. Would be cool though. It'd be cool. <laughs> I mean, what else is he gonna do against it? I mean, whack it with a sword, I suppose. That's kind of what he does. He's gonna turn his sword into a giant fly swatter. So, <laughs> insects are anathema to his war priest path. So his weapon of awe is a giant fly swatter. Try. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> do 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 do. Oh, your thing is doing a thing. Okay. <laughs> You're doing things. Yeah. Oh. One thing I know about Shane. The bad part about it is thing. whatever you're doing, the camera's centered right on it. Ah, sorry about that. So, yeah, well, there's not much you can do about it unless I were to, like, turn the camera off. The follow um, button. I, want which you I think to it's better to have it on. Off. Well, we so, know where the sound is, is coming from anyway, it. so that's fine. We, see. we would have been able to hear it. That thing is that achy knowledge. looking. Oh, I saw it. And now it's gone. Oh, God, there's a lot of them. Yes, and they all start moving and at they're once. they're all made of rock. Uh, it, light those motherfuckers up, dude. It was a rock. B. B. Oh, they're fast. And they smell a bunch of blood coming from this way. Join us, Sora. Well, technically, they, they would have to save against the illusion, uh, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think they give two um, shits about the salmon, unfortunately. They do not give a shit about the salmon. The they other guy give a shit way up, Fair enough. The fuck about, yeah, I see that. They Fair are they all did. about the blood. The blood is what. Oh yeah, is what woke them all up. All about that blood. About <laughs> no, that make the whole oh, battlefield feel like blood. Yeah, they're all about that blood. I have to know, know about those. Though. I do. But... Oh, you know about Sturge? Hope you like. Yeah, oh, yeah. Sturges. Okay. Yep. They don't like. I know about Sturges. They don't like salmon, yeah. but do they like fish liquor? <clears throat> fish liquor. They do fish not liquor. actually. <laughs> I bet if you suck their little. 
Probiscus. Zero Probiscus. noses into the fish liquor, they would die immediately. <laughs> I also did Adventure Path once where there was a little boy NPC who had a pet sturge. <laughs> oh god, that really? sounds terrifying, actually. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, All right. Adventure. The Griffin. party killed it. Oh, no! Fair. Applesauce! Wow. Why did uh, you do the applesauce? <laughs> I think the Griffin is Apple going to go. Is it his applesauce? I think the Griffin is going to go after the last guy that attacked it. Like it sees, it, its instincts are telling it that this thing, this guy over here, is alone uh, and scared. Um, he man, is also love. going to roll a strength check to try and burst into the building. Who's this? And oh. Naked and conceivably afraid. With a nat 20, he is. There is no problem. He is going to. Oh, Kool Aid that, man his way into a building. That's horrifying. That's an A. Um, yeah, from this guy. From, well, yeah, no, because. Because he was around a hard corner when he actually made the movement to burst through the, through the door. <laughs> no, because Shane said so. No, he, he was standing right cool here. Because he wanted to do a cool Yeah, but I mean, like, this is a, a door. Huge creature. This is a doorway right here. Oh, no. <gasps> that would have been an A up from Knox. I didn't yeah. see that Knox was standing there. Yeah. <laughs> here's the thing is when, I have, is when I have a token that can't see Knox, when I have uh, one yeah. of those, a token that can't see Knox clicked on, I can't actually see him on the map. You literally ran right in front of me, which is hilarious. <laughs> yeah. So, like, That's part of me wants exactly to just... what he would have been doing. Part of me, I don't know. Do I just let it go? <laughs> do, do, you want to take, do you want to take the AOP as he? Because if uh, I lose the invisibility, I don't get the sneak attack anymore. You know, I don't know if this thing can even take sneak. This attack, is your. You can get sneak attack now. Well, no. Well, uh, when you it comes back it. around to your when it comes back around to your turn, you can try and flank this thing with this other guy. Yeah. The thing I don't get the sneak attack. Do I get sneak attack damage if I'm invisible still on an AOP? Might as well try. You don't know if you do or not. I mean, it's still precision damage against this elemental creature. I don't know. You can recast invisibility next turn. You, you may get, you don't know if you get sneak attack True. damage on this thing. It's not an yeah, elemental. Like, you know that it's not an elemental. It's a griffin, but oh. it has elemental properties. Oh, I thought it was just like this water thing, you know? That's what I thought too. Water elemental in the shape of a griffin, not. So it could totally griffin be suplexed. It's made of water. <laughs> Might as well try. Fuck it. We'll do it. And you do get a sneak attack because it is unaware of your presence. Ooh, pretty good roll. 28 will do it. And you do, in fact, get sneak attack damage against this Ooh. thing. All right. You can so... suplex it. You can sneak attack it. Yeah, it's you can stab I'll... a wrench. If you, you can stab a griffin. So do five <laughs> damage plus a, wrench? a bunch of ones. 16. Dung. Plus <laughs> a lot of other shit. Um so twenty-one damage. Yeah. But no. Did you mean to use Did your you dagger? Use... Did he use my dagger? Yeah, you did. Oh, use I did not dagger. mean to use my dagger. Alright, so you wanna not... roll the attack with the correct weapon this time? I would just roll the damage. I mean, you already rolled the attack. Yeah, we just do the damage. Okay, so seven. Seven. <laughs> Versus so five. Seven. Two more damage. And then two more damage. Sixteen is so four more damage. Should be two more damage. Two more. And then, uh, how do I put this in the I thing? Only roll five d six for. Oh. Yes. So he takes two of these. So he, I choose. Um, oh, he takes two now. He takes two because I have a feat. Improved. Uh, oh, double debilitation. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Unchained advanced nice. rogue talent. Yeah. Uh, so he will take disoriented and bewildered. Okay, so what is that? So bewildered, he takes a minus two penalty to his AC, and then a minus six 
I think, against me. Is it minus, uh, minus two or minus four? Because that goes up as you level, doesn't it? Yeah. At 10th level and at 16th, penalty against that increases by minus. So it's a negative two to everyone and then a negative six. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. To me. For him, and then a negative two penalty on attack rolls, but a negative six. So it's negative two for rolls. everybody, but it yeah. goes up by two for you. Okay. So here. negative two AC and negative two on attack rolls. Jesus. Yep. <clears throat> but negative Jesus. six on AC and negative six to attack rolls against Nox. And Nox yeah. is also now available. You kick the, you stab the absolute shit out of this griffin. Uh, it is still going to try and make, uh, try and bite this Ooh, thing. Because it's really pissed at this guy. Uh, yar! Lord. He's gonna fuck that up real bad, actually. <clears throat> That's how it goes. Uh, he's, a bit, he's a little bit sad about getting stabbed in the. Yeah, butt. he's like. <clears throat> He moved, and you just stabbed him directly in the ass as he was uh, he took bursting through the wall. And he's like, oh, oh, I stepped on a nail with my ass or something. I don't know what's going <laughs> he took, on. He took I also one, get a, 1D Nox ass damage. I also get another D f or another 5 AC bonus against it um, through a dodge bonus. Uh, yes. Jesus uh, Christ. I'm well, I'm well acquainted. So we have a plus 11 against him? <laughs> Essentially, yes. Saw built Nox to be like, I've hit you, and now you will suffer about it. And now it's your turn next, so you can just get in there and just finish this motherfucker off. Yeah. <clears throat> it is your turn next. Cha-ching! So I can five-foot step and full round, right? Yes. Uh, you're not going to be able to five foot step around a corner, though. You oh, wouldn't yeah, get flanking. Kind of, yeah. You're, you're telling me the frame on this door is still standing after a thing crashed through it? You know what? That's actually a fair point. Yeah, you would be able to <clears> five <throat> foot step through there. Okay. But it's a difficult terrain, though. I don't think you can five No, because all the debris got difficult. blown inwards. Okay. Yeah, it's right here. See? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that tracks. Yeah. That, you, you love to see it. You love to see it. What the fuck? You know what? Yeah, I will. I will. Dude, that's some good rules okay. lawyering. Yeah. Uh, lawyering. I will. I will take that one. I like. Yeah, it's good. Give me my Sustained. <laughs> I'll allow it. <laughs> All right. So then... So I don't think you'll be able to sneak attack at this time. No. That's okay. It's badly injured anyway. <clears throat> that's true. It wasn't especially fond of the last Put some holes in it. <clears throat> oh, good rolls. That's at least one crit. That's two crits. I don't know if that 16 confirms. Oh. The 16, no. unfortunately, does not confirm. Even with the negative 6 to uh, AC? Uh, shit. Technically, at a negative 8 right now. That's a good point. Yeah, the <laughs> negative 8 would make that AC that confirm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Apparently we're playing PF2E now. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it kind of feels like it. Uh, okay. I did build the ox to just be a debuff machine, so. Yeah, oh, that's awesome. So, we'll take that damage and that damage. Uh, but I technically, with two weapon fighting, I get, right? We'll attack with my offhand. One attack with my offhand? Yes. Yeah. It doesn't matter, it's dead. It is, in fact, dead, yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> An extra uh, six damage. Fuck you. Yeah, an extra six damage. Um, Just don't... chuck Sheila at the ground where it's puddling. Uh, I don't know that... Do you make offhand attacks with highest base attack bonus? 
No. Uh, oh, no. No. That, uh, minus that sounds two. Wrong. Yeah. It's still yeah, 17. Yeah. And you would have taken minus. a minus two on the initial attack. Actually, you would have taken a minus two on all of your attacks because of that, but I mean, you crit anyway, so it doesn't really matter. He has weapon finesse, so it wouldn't matter. Well, the weapon finesse. Weapon finesse, I think. So he has improved two weapon fighting, which takes it from a negative five to a negative two. Weapon finesse means that he gets to add his dex oh, right, the, to yeah. his damage. Those right, are right. two different things. Okay. So I almost took better, even better, two weapon fighting to get a fourth and attack. Then, yes, this one also disappears. Uh, the Berlani like looks at you and is like, "Oh, well played, soldier. Ah, can all oh, I can always so use a good, a good." He strong... like stabbed, did a fencing, did a fencing step, and then stabbed again. Yeah, he's like, I could always use a strong uh, uh, compatriot in a fight. Ha <laughs> ha! Now, let us go out there and continue. There's more for us to do. Uh, and he is going to fly out uh, from the hole in the wall here. We'll just say that, yeah, most of this wall is basically destroyed, I would imagine. A, s a slight push. Just it falls over. Oh, shit. Charge. Uh, you know what? Yeah, fuck it. He'll do a charge. He'll try and take out this Sturge that's in the lead, we'll say. The lead Applesauce. <laughs> um. What was that about Applesauce? What? Oh, I, I I told a little story from the pod, other podcast I listened to about a, a little boy with a pet Sturge at the party killed. His name was Applesauce. Uh, and he manages to crit it, and uh, yeah, that Sturge is dead now. Crit it till you quit it. Uh, which Does means Bernie it remember just not to disappears. What are they made of? Is it stone? Like I like I said. Um. These ones actually are not made of, and they they look like just regular sturges. Hmm. Yes, the sturge here is made of sturge. Hmm. So Delicious. we will go ahead and move on God, to <laughs> Mr. Bernie. <laughs> All right. Well, it looks like there's something for me to hit here. So we're gonna bloody Mary fresh from the sturge. Charge in. I've got the ready is good. The urge <clears throat> to sturge. All right, yeah, totally unbroken path. You're you're yeah. fine to charge. Like yeah, the sturge in this one. <clears throat> he just runs forward, screaming, "God damn it!" I think looking rather normal. What not? He's just gonna go and do his uh, regular attack, power attack on. Because why not? Furious focus. God damn it! Church purge. So I'm gonna roll. Oh my god! I'd like I to do my full attack. attack. You can't do a full attack. Okay, oh, do a full. I'm, I'm charging, of course. Sorry, I'm a dummy. You fool. Yeah, yeah. That's like ah, a thing that only. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing Cavaliers. animals and uh, barbarians can do. Well, I can do Maybe two attacks, cattle. probably. Do Cavaliers do that, too? I forget. Uh, uh, yeah, if they charge on their mount, I think they can do that. Yeah, they have All right. some part single of the attack. movement is part of the attack, yeah. Not Your great. Whole, yeah, it's a whole... Um, damage, 20? Well, 22, technically. Oh, and yeah. that will hit. Um, 22, roughly. All right. So 20 points of damage. Which is enough to, even if you're doing... Um, non-lethal? Non-lethal, that's enough to kill it. Because eventually okay. after you do enough non-lethal damage, it does very much become lethal. No, oh, okay. <laughs> it turns out when it's you like, beat someone to death. <laughs> yeah, it's like when you're punching someone and they're unconscious and you continue to punch them. All right. So... Cool. I guess that's his whole turn. I don't think there's anything else they can do at this point. It's just bludgeoning. All right. Let's so go. it is. <laughs> yes. 
printer again. I want to make a barbarian yeah. that's uh, a leshy. Can you change your of, uh, salmon to blood sausage? You call him a, a barbarian. Uh, did anyone tell him to? Did anyone put in any request? I guess would be uh, that I have it here. Free, um, free bird. Because right now in his mind, he Fuck. is trying to do his best to make the most. Delicious smelling food. He's in a site. certain. Make it smell like blood. Handling a certain dude in Does Inferno. Does he? Because kind of right in the way. He's trying. You can see between his legs. Take these people. Here's <laughs> to a uh, to a place How that can dude Inferno mentioned to him once. Swag and weenie. But he can't quite remember what that <laughs> place is. Um, so um, he is going to switch it to. Um, he's going to switch the food to. Um, uh, Tate? Oh yeah, um, yeah, and, dude, Inferno. He he's like, yeah, I'm the mayor of, T of Tastyville. T <laughs> yeah, but but there there was another place he mentioned, but have it's right next to Flavor Town. Remember, I've never heard of this Flavor Town. What is that? <laughs> I've been to Tastyville. Inferno has met, mentioned Flavor Town to have, then have's actually like kind of tried to get into it with him philosophically. He's like, what is? Where is this Flavor Town? How do oh, I did I actually flavor use Flavortown? I shouldn't have used Flavortown. I, it's all supposed to be knockoff. That's no, why I went with like Tasty Bill this time. Or something like that. Okay. Well, at, at any rate, he's trying to remember this, this thing that Dude Inferno had taught him uh, about, and he's trying to channel it into his uh, cell <laughs> to try to <laughs> The spirit of Tasty Bill. <laughs> is, uh, so, uh, is the verbal part of the spell, he's just chanting umami over and over? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, Umami. yeah. I, just, I, I kind of picture him sweating, uh, like he's like succumbing to his own <laughs> really illusion. Um, I kind of like the idea of like him he's going. Well, I know this is crazy, but it, well, no, no. It'd be funny if like uh, no, no. I, he I'm, just pretends he's in a I, kitchen I, 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 and everyone in the kitchen. Sweats. Yeah, yeah. Like so it. he's it's like he's succumbing to his own illusion, kind of. Uh, but that's the end of his. Uh, <laughs> well, well, let's just, uh, for funsies, for funsies, let's just roll to see how good his, uh, his cow, uh, what did I say, steak or cow? I forget. Uh, he just shouts out, we're 86 uh, in the mahi-mahi. Just making me hungry. But he's not yeah. so hungry. So it's making me hungry, too. It kind of, me, too. I had a plate of full of food before this, but it's not doing it for me. <laughs> like, maybe in his mind, he pictures, like, dude Inferno helping him stir the cauldron or turn uh, the Uh, he, Hab like, really is, is like concentrating really, <laughs> really well because that is the exact same spellcraft check he got last time so he's oh, like he's really yeah. like laser focused yeah. in no, on, just insane. Yeah. like he's yeah. Habab's barely even registers that there is a fight happening around him at the moment <laughs> I love your commitment yeah. to the character <laughs> I love it so much yeah Habab's <laughs> will Nathan will commit to the bit <laughs> <laughs> all right if Zoggle uh, Fart never, never made yeah, it. You can't champ, go out there wasting spells. The champ oh, is Lord. also, I think, going to... Salmon Sniffer! <laughs> he's also going to run up. The champ is going to chomp. No! Champ chomp! I have another Gross, you ever bit into a mosquito? Wild. No. Uh, no. <laughs> I feel like that'd be no. really fucking difficult, actually. Uh, <laughs> um... They taste and like not, uh, and, uh, they taste what? like bug spray. Not recommended. Bug spray. Uh, it's a deep flavored gusher. Depression. They taste like bug or spray. A gamey, a gamey flavored gusher. <laughs> uh, <laughs> a, 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 <laughs> I, 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 go, I grew up in a very mosquito-y era or uh, area. It's uh, a it, I've eaten a couple <laughs> accidentally. Oh yeah. I always forget this about the champ. He has a ten foot reach with his claws. Damn. How? Ooh. Damn. Long claws. What does he lay down and you just want a champ eh. comp? Eh. He's got eh. lunge. Champ is champ is a mystery to most, <laughs> if not all, <laughs> including and himself. to himself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't know Nathan I knows do what's it, up. But I do it. It's I like a cool uh, trick. I don't know how it works. What's, what's Shikamaru's mentor? What's his name? The two knives, man. Yeah, with the where he uses like the chakra to extend his reach. Yeah, like, he just he just like reaches out and slaps one of the sturges out of the uh, sky. 
Asuma. <laughs> Asuna. Asuma. I think it's Asuna. Uh, it's Prescott's Asuna. busy yeah. doing his stuff up there. He's really cool. So we're going to go cool. straight into... Sam, what are you doing? It's time for a little lady. Asuma, you're right. Yeah, as Asuma, sorry, Toby. Yep. Hello. Who's that guy that raps and has like six swords that he uses all at once? That guy's Killer a B. fucking weirdo. Yeah. Killer B. Killer B. Killer B. Killer B. Killer B. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually another one down. <laughs> Disappears into the ether. Wow, we were well, re real scared of these things. Yeah. Well, so the, originally they man. were supposed to uh, pop up as soon as like blood started flowing, but it didn't. the Griffins don't exactly have a whole lot of blood, and really the first big attack that happened was on Mori, and yeah, yeah. they didn't really Mori, get a chance. Yeah. They were supposed to join a little bit earlier than they actually did uh. and harass everybody, but... That's Sam's turn. All right. Uh, but then Mori one. did a hundred damage and all the threats went away. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Is then the, well, the we had two is, characters that just do like, like incredible power burst damage. Like <laughs> actually, probably the two characters that are the best at just straight up burst damage, be right next to these griffins and be like, "Well, I guess I just stab them or slash sl cut them in half to death." <laughs> Slash cut them in half. Yeah. He shouldn't have took all those debuffs. That's not, not him. His positioning was just so. Well, that's perfect. the. Oh, that's just, the thing is, I'm I didn't so even remember he was there. That <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even know. I thought you. I thought you turned right in front of me on purpose. <laughs> no, I didn't even know you were. Like I said, if I'm clicking on a token that can't see you, I also can't see you, which I think is fair. <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah, if, if yeah. enemies can't see you, then the DM shouldn't be able to know where the hell you are. That's really cool. Yeah, I take it there's, really cool. no, there's no glass in this window? Uh, yeah, you can jump straight out of there. Um, Awen does a cool jump shot out of the window. Backflip like, gainer. She, she, no, she, like she jumps front. through the air whilst yelling ah and firing guns in the air. Uh, firing a bow at a, at a Sturge, but yes. <clears throat> Go ahead and make your attack, you goob. This one, right? That's the one you got to clean a shot to. Yeah, True. makes sense. Um, yeah, you dive out the window and enter into Max Payne bullet time as you <laughs> take a shot at this Sturge. It's <laughs> <laughs> fucking cool. That's exactly how I pictured it. Like, <laughs> then he half whips an arrow at it. it. Yeah. You ever get there's no there's no like gunshot noise right so in bullet time it'll go like whip you just hear like a rubber band uh, so. uh, uh, and then i shoot the i shoot bernie in the ass and he goes god damn it so with a 19 that still actually hits Woo! Yeah. seven damage Huzzah. Higher than which one. is That's just enough to bring this thing down to zero so it also disappears. It was a tough shot. Yeah, I mean, these things are pretty small. They are, in fact, small creatures. And I was flipping at them. Tiny creatures. Tiny they are very creatures. small. Oh. All right, Maury's turn. Um, wait, um, I want to do a thing. So you can... Uh, he can't <laughs> actually do a charge because you need, uh, uninterrupted so you can't move through friendly squares while doing a charge. If you have to say pardon me, you can't charge. Yeah. <laughs> so you can't double move and attack, correct? You can during a charge. Right. But, but you can't, yeah. It, essentially double general, moving yeah, is okay. using your uh, standard action to move again. <laughs> what? There's a thing that he can do, actually. Um... Uh... Are features? A creature feature. Why do not he just go and step on him? Mori squish bug. 
Mori squish bug like married men who want to fight me. He uses all of his movement and ends up in both their squares. Can he just squish him with his feet? What's the what's the unarmored movement of a medium creature? Thirty, or, but... or a large creature, I should say. Thirty. Uh, 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 a large doesn't person change. doesn't yeah affect your movement speed. Yeah. Okay, so it'd be thirty feet. Unarmored. Uh, Mori yeah. doesn't have that much movement. He doesn't though. have a He's twenty. 20. Reach. No, he does have. There's a. At tenth level, he unlocked a thing that gives him the ability to move. Really? Oh, and like heavy armor. Armored speed. Yeah. Is it the sacred armor but, thing? Uh, it's called strength of will. Oh. It's a. That's neat. It's a blessing. It's it's I a warp feature. It. Yeah. <laughs> this uh, armor is heavy, but I don't care. It, yeah. I think there's a number of martial classes that have something like that. Um, I could believe, I could see warp. But he doesn't that. have he doesn't have a twenty foot reach, so it wouldn't matter. At this point, he'd only have a ten foot reach. He Strength is bleeding though, oh. so maybe he could just be there and fight the enemy. And yeah, strength of will but looks them... like it's a key feat. Like just stand there and look appetizing, so that these things run right by Bernie, so he can cut them up. Just chuck his sword at him. Fucking. I think Bernie it's wants to magic that, weapon. Uh. uh or chuck. Strength chuck of that, will. Uh, Bureau. Look up. Look up a. It, it's it's specific for the classes. Uh, strength, for Gorm or whatever. For a war priest. Gotcha. Okay. Um. Uh, but is that? Uh. Are you just gonna? He's not gonna do that though, because he can't quite get there anyway. So. We'll just. I mean. Move. There. Okay. That works. And shout angrily. Like, hey, bugs. fuck you, bugs! Yeah. Actually, that's crazy though. They can pull from the monk, uh, kind of class. Uh, I think it's. it's well, I think I didn't end up on the different. right one. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh, so, um, they pull from a couple different classes, but. Any hoozles. Like uh, last up is the Bralani. And this one hasn't moved so far this turn, so it's going to make a full attack with its bow. Which is two shots. Uh, and a chaser. Hey and that's going to be just enough to hit both of them. And these things disappear out of the sky which will bring us to the end of the combat wait, wait. so now that uh, everything has kind of calmed down a little bit we can all chill we can all relax <laughs> well that was a good warm up uh, just uh Guys, looking for another fight? By any sure chance? Uh... Okay. <laughs> we are always looking for a good fight. Well, there's one Combat. Evil, real evil motherfucker just that way, trying to destroy the whole city. Uh, turn people into trees. Uh, so, you with us? Oh, why did you start playing a thing again? <laughs> Suddenly, um, they attack us. Roll initiative. <laughs> They're always we're always looking, looking for a good fight. <laughs> yeah. you uh, it's like good epic worthy. music for when we're running to the next fight, you know? <laughs> Actually, as you guys are having this conversation, you see Prescott runs up. And he's like, as much as we could use the help, um, got a report from uh, the rank and file back there. And... Uh, if you guys would be willing to, it sounds like they've been here for somehow a couple of days. Um, uh, uh, th they've got uh, 
they've got civilians hiding inside of like a lot of different buildings in there. Uh, they were trying to evacuate, but um, griffins and all kinds of other creatures were picking them off as as they were making a break for it. Um, would you would you two be willing to help escort uh, civilians towards the wall and help them get outside the city? And they're like, hmm. That doesn't sound like it would lead to many good fights. Hmm. Hmm. It does seem like the right thing to do. Ah, uh, yes. But if we were to go find things to fight, they would be less likely to attack the the people of this fine city. You do make a good point. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think you need to worry about not finding fights. You guys are kind of fucking loud. <laughs> yes, well, it's hard to to stay restrained when uh, when jumping into an uh, adventure like that. <laughs> the blood runs hot and the voice grows loud. That is correct. You know how it is. <laughs> um, <laughs> it just like got her mouth open. How did it do that? <laughs> uh, the champs like. Yeah, listen, um, I'll get, like, adventure and, and liking to fight and, and, and whatnot. Uh, yeah, that's that's all good, brother. Mm. Why is Champ British now? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> and I, he can't stop. Channel your Hulk Hogan, man. Come on. I know. Ooh, yeah. I think I was going for Australian because he's, uh, he's also named... Um, um, I Steve. know his actual Steve? yes, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so, so he's Hulk Bogan. A little bit. Or the crocodile. But hey, listen. Taking care of the people, the proletariat should always come first. That's the biggest. They're like, the I don't know there. what that word means, stranger. <laughs> it's like, um, gentlemen. Can I get some help here? Uh, the beast fight the we, we got my the people out, and uh, as much as the rest of these people have, you know, not been the greatest to those in Monster Town, I know that it's due to their own ignorance and not any sort of inherent flaw in their character. <laughs> hey, They've been led up. astray by those in power, <laughs> you hear? Ooh, yeah! <laughs> If there's one thing I can't stand, it's the overuse of power in the wrong fields. Awen oh. pipes up from the back. She just goes, you know, some of the best fights are when you're protecting something. It's hard to, you know, fight and defend. So, good fights. Hmm. Yeah, but that's... You make a good point, my lady. How are you and getting people for out? what... Uh, I... I can't quite put it, my finger on it, but your words do carry quite the weight. Hmm. Weird. Um. I think they would fly over to you. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. I feel somewhat of a connection. Are you one that yearns for adventure as well? I mean, yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. Truly, kindred spirits, I would say. <laughs> oh, all right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and one of them like <laughs> claps you on the back, and they're like, "Yes, we would love to hear of your <coughs> of your adventures at some point." But right now, it seems we have a decision to make. Uh, what was it you were saying again about uh? uh, uh good fights and what have you well some of the toughest fights that can be had is when there's something you're standing in front of uh, if if there's something that can't be gotten to you fight all the harder right mm, yes no wall to put our backs against i see yeah uh, you, go ahead and give me you. a a uh, persuasion or whatever the skill is called in this version i cannot diplomancy. remember diplomancy diplomancy that is correct 
Diplomatic. That's pretty good. Hmm. That's pretty diplomatic. You you make a fine point, ma- young maiden. Hmm. God, you say that. Uh, are you the one leading the charge to evacuate these people? <clears throat> and he's like, uh, as much as I would like to, I uh, I imagine I'm gonna come along, come across plenty of other troops that are gonna need uh, just as much direction as uh, these guys did. I'm going to have to mute that tab. I get enough of the cicadas here in the summertime. Thanks. <laughs> All right. I can go ahead and and stop that one. I figured it was it was a good sort of liked it. come down from cicadas. the fight. No, no, no that's, that's perfectly fine. I'm saying I can't stand the damn things. <laughs> um, yeah, I so am not a huge fan of cicadas either. No, I think they're fascinating. They're cool bugs. They're very loud, though. Mm. Yeah, I've never been a big fan of the sounds that they make. Um, they fly over to the, uh, over to the guards and, uh, ask to be, you know, sort of given an update on, like, how they're going to move people out and whatnot. Uh, in the meantime... Awen elbows Sam. Hab, Hab, uh, you might have been concentrating on food, but you also were able to... Um. Uh, uh. Uh. Perceive the fight. You had a pretty good seat from which to watch the fight and everything that was going on there. Yeah, I uh, saw the sturges, and I th- I think the buildings I could see through because the walls were damaged. If I remember yeah. correctly, I could I could probably see a, uh, quite a bit of it. Yeah. So I would like for you to give me a. Knowledge Arcana check. Hmm? Oh god, that'll do it. Oh. That will do it. Uh. So Nathan. Yes. Uh Habs, you've you're not big into a <laughs> uh gross. Uh yeah. you're not you're not big into like summoning You've met other uh, other casters, other wizards, who are big into summoning creatures, and you yeah. have heard that there are some out there that can change sort of the nature of creatures as they are summoned. They can add sort of like templates on top of the creature that's already being summoned. You recognize that yeah. Sturge is not one of the creatures that that you can do that with. Some you can, some mm-hmm. you can't. Uh, Mm. things from like the hells things from like the heavens and things like that you cannot do that with um Mm. but things like magical beasts and animals you can so you think that Uh most likely the creatures that you are seeing here are products of summoning in some sort or another like Mm -hmm. they're staying far too long to be like the product of normal summoning spells. Yeah. But, like, they're being affected in the same ways that a lot of summoned creatures are. And you know that there's mm-hmm. lots of different yeah. ways that, that wizards can affect summons, like, when they, they are summoned. Like, they can make them mm-hmm. stronger, they can give them, like, different attributes, they can <coughs> add on, like, some different sort of, like, magical effects and whatnot. Mm-hmm. You can make them real goofy yeah, looking. And, and, well, we know that time is different here. Um, and I know what, one of the things Habs probably was um, kind of test, thinking about or, or um, testing would be uh, with his the uh, cantrip called Guardian Moat. Um, I imagine at one point or another he was, he was like, counting, uh, like, the seconds uh, to see how long it would last, like, if it was actually... And it's probably it's probably like an exercise in futility, but he would still try. Actually, that uh, is a really might. good point. So with that nat 20, I'm also going to tack this on here because you've been like okay. he has been putting a lot of thought into this. Yeah. So Habs, you've spent a lot of time reading through um, the wizard's 
diary whom I can't remember his name at the moment. Corvax. 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 Yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah. It threw Corvax's diary. And it talks a lot about, like, celestial business and, and like, how differences in, like, different planes and, and all of that works. And one of the things that is early on in there that it talks about is the concept of um, <clears throat> relativity. So, really what it comes down to is that your spell lasts exactly how long it's supposed to last. But it lasts that long because it's relative to you. That doesn't mean that it's going to last the same amount of time depending on when you go into one of these different... Like, if you go into one of these different time pockets, it may look like it yeah. ends like that. If you end yeah. up in another time pocket, it may look like it lasts forever. Right. Right. So that's yeah, pretty deep stuff. Yeah. Depending on where you guys are at, you imagine like what's really important is how quickly time is moving at the center of everything. Um, you're not sure uh, how how time is moving relatively here towards where time is moving uh, uh, relative to um, uh, uh, the tree and uh, the princes and all that stuff. But... Damn, we're spaghettifying. It's, uh, yeah, like I said, things are getting a little timey-wimey at the moment. What's the name hmm. of that movie, Interstellar? Yes. It's sort of getting into a lot of that stuff. Yeah. Hmm. I, I'm sure he'd be reflecting That's on this um, and trying little little things like I'd mentioned, like the kind of uh, trying to count down like how long Guardian Moat would last and things like this. And But it's like, I, I don't think Habs would have like, I don't know if he'd be able to relay that intelligibly to the rest of the party. Um, so at the moment, I think he's probably thinking of a way to, to say that um, or, or relay as much. Uh -huh. um, Co common isn't his first language either, um, and so uh, he's wicked he's a little bit smart. Metal he's wicked smart. Yeah, he is. But uh, Gnomish is his first language, and so it's. Uh, I have always kind of. <laughs> you can explain of... it to Sam. I yeah, say. yeah. Uh, Sam would get it. <laughs> yeah, he, but he wouldn't. I don't think he would have an accent either. He he spent so much time around gnomes. He, he probably sounds. <laughs> like an actual gnome um but uh mm. I which think is funny because sam has spent that, uh, almost no time around gnomes so she would have an accent <laughs> oh yeah interesting i've never thought about that um mm. right now he's trying to debate on how to say it like uh intelligibly in gnomish and then translating that in his mind to common to something that could be useful um for the party uh, the other um, thing is you've got plenty of like here you've got plenty of charcoal and you've got plenty of walls that aren't being used at the moment. True, true. Yeah. So, um, and do you think so, Habs would try and do yeah. like some diagrams or something? In fact, a good portion well, of those. Walls I love the are idea. Charcoal. I love the idea that it's a regular occurrence that after a battle or when Hab Habs has an idea, he'll just excitedly start talking to Sen about so Sem about something. So it's just this. It's just this constant little conversation in the background of them just speaking excitedly <laughs> in gnomish and then between the two of them they explain explain it to the rest of the party yeah like uh, I, I, I love that would, i love that mental image probably t yeah i like it as well uh we should make it canon uh i think he would either start drawing on the ground or using uh like scratching things into the ground or using like a bit of if there's any like um charred wood like you'd use that yeah like i said the, the, the these wall. buildings have all sort of like burnt down so like i said you have plenty of charcoal around to like be able to make like diagrams yeah. and like i said there's walls that aren't being used so there's plenty of space mm -hmm. for you to or even if you wanted to do it on like the floors in here where you could like be a little bit yeah. more precise yeah and, and i i'd probably do it because it would be the the flattest surface that he could find and, and i think mo most of corvax's diary was in pictures uh there were a lot of uh pictures in it and so um be shaped there were um, a lot of like 
there were a lot of diagrams, but a lot of his are kind of the same thing. Mm. A lot of his go into like theoretical different dimensions and take yeah. a lot of like trying to be like, okay, so like this is the best that I can represent it as a drawing, but you have to imagine yeah. that there that there's like three more axes coming off of these in directions that yeah. don't actually exist. Yeah, how do you apply uh -huh. four dimensional thinking to a two dimensional plane? <laughs> Yeah, I I mean at best he could do kind of do 3D I guess the floor and if there's any partial walls left but um, I I like to think that maybe uh, pictures and and kind of the way uh, symbols are shaped in the in the diary might be helping him to kind of do some rude uh, rudimentary uh, so here's, conveyance. Uh, uh, here's I could a, do like a spellcraft or something. To I was gonna to, say make me a uh, wisdom check to try and uh -huh. to try I. I want you to make me a wisdom check to try and make a Star Trek type analogy where, you know, whenever they had to do like crazy science stuff, they would be like, uh, uh science mumbo jumbo. And they'd be like, Oh, you mean like this thing? Uh. Like if we pump so much air into a balloon, it will pop. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. You come up with, with a pretty good analogy. Um, I think you come up with sort of the analogy of like two different trains moving at different speeds. So if one, yeah. if both, if they're both moving at the same speed, they both one looks like it's standing still. If one's moving faster, yeah. it looks like to one of them it looks like one's going backwards while the other's going forywards. Mm -hmm. um, Everyone's just grateful it's not one of those. I, I do think that like you're like getting it. You do get the point across. It does. I want everybody to make me just a flat intelligence check. Yeah, I get the feeling Awen's eyes are going to glaze over here. Mm. Someone's going to have to roll that for me. I'm no longer at the <laughs> office. Awen, unusually. <laughs> <laughs> the champ actually just, pays attention. The champ got lost as soon as you started drawing things. He jo he started joining you yeah. in drawing things on the floor. <laughs> Nox is asleep and rolling a cigarette at the same time. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't even close enough to pay attention. <laughs> I'm invisible somewhere. Um, Awen, for once, is actually interested in class time. Damn it, I was really hoping for the eyes glazed over. <laughs> Sam has no fucking clue what you're talking about. <laughs> it's in Nomish, and that's as far as she followed. Awen, weirdly, I the only one to kind of be like, no, yeah, I get what you're saying. Like, I, I imagine Awen gets it because she has, like, traditional magic schooling. So more. she's probably yeah. gotten a little bit of, of this sort of, like, Outside the box, sort of theoretical thinking type of education. It was raining that day With in class, but Bernie's... she had to pay attention because she couldn't sneak out. I worked. I rolled terribly. Bernie's not like terribly like unintelligent or anything, but I think he's just so focused on the mission at this point. Like he's just like not having it. Mm -hmm. uh, he's like right. okay, you know, it's just you know we got a lot going on, right? So uh, I mean, do, just, should like, we go and take matter? care of business or sit here and have a fucking TED talk? So Prescott is kind of keeping up with you, uh, but like every time you move to a new part of part of like how you're trying to explain, he's like, okay, okay, wait, 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 go back, go back, go back, back, back. Okay, I got the first part, but okay, how does that go to here? And like, <laughs> I think it is important for everybody to understand because like, and I think you know this because it sort of like changes your approach to this depending mm -hmm. on like there are some places where it's going to be okay for you guys to like take your time be thorough mm -hmm. all that sort of stuff and there are some places where it's mm -hmm. like we might want to get the fuck out of here as soon as we can but how are we gonna yeah know? well i mean maybe mechanically <sighs> like spells could be like the canary in the in the coal mine i suppose if, if like we start seeing weird things with spells or if we just start to age rapidly for no reason. Uh, <laughs> well, so know, things, none of that is ever going to things. happen because, again, yeah. it goes back to relativity. Mm -hmm. Wherever you yeah. are, time is moving uh -huh. relative for you. It's moving at the same uh -huh. rate. Uh -huh. But in <clears> other <throat> places, it will seem like it's moving faster or slower. What if um, you cast a spell before we go into a new area that you know has a set time frame? I wonder what it changes cool. when we enter a new area. 
or Can would it remain the same and we could gauge it off of that time frame? I think we have enough time to test all these different things, but it's definitely something to like come back to. Definitely like a good food for thought thing. Uh, um, could have Bernie do a math check? Uh, yeah. Well, I, I'd like I would for say him to calculate be... the time, passage of time, uh, compared to where they just were, to where they are right now. Like, what the difference okay. is. Like, to trying to gauge, like, what's the, what's the difference of, like, and I'd, could, I'm going to make an argument here. This that? might seem like a stretch. Uh, he did a lot of stuff with numbers when he was doing his criminal stuff. Because he was, like, doing, like, bookkeeping, negotiating numbers and that kind of thing. Could that be related mm. to his, like, criminal role? Are you <clears throat> saying you want to do a profession bandit role? Yeah. This would probably more I to his drug, his drug dealing days. I will allow it. I will allow that, yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, like, the hero the of the night. <laughs> way over his head. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> I don't know. I don't know that you would have like an exact science for it, but yeah. they said it's been a couple of days, so yeah. you know that time is moving much quicker here. You guys spent maybe like an hour or so mm -hmm. in the last place, like going from the last place to this place. So, like, time has sped up quite a bit. Um, mm -hmm. You think we so, would have felt, like, if there was another, like, uh, I mean, maybe this is meta, I don't know, but I know we did a save at the very beginning. Uh, you guys haven't kind felt of another knew. save yet. Okay, so that that's good to know. Um, and so, uh, okay. So wait, wait. So maybe these little pockets are helping us, to, like, avoid excessive saves or something. Um so this whole pocket thing may never like actually happen. Like if we get there, if we get there, we stop the thing before any of this ever happens. Two days from now, this is so. Me that's called a paradox. So I will I will explain. Uh, I think you know there's someone who probably could explain a lot of this stuff to you. The prince, the NPC that we know. and his name is Neil deGrasse Tyson. Well, no, it's everybody. somebody who actually helped make sense of a lot of this stuff for you during research. Oh, oh Sheila. Sheila. <laughs> yeah, and we're, well, we're kind of on our shit list, here. though, right? We're kind of on our shit list because we're on Teresa's shit list. We're on Teresa's you haven't shit talked list. to her. You, Teresa is very mad at you guys. You don't know how Sheila feels at the moment. You know that. Um, no, yeah, Teresa's not friends mad with her. Sam. I have one sending, I think, prepped for the day. I don't know if I want to use it. Um, How's it work? Well, it might not work. Who knows? Time. Uh, Time's messed up. We had to get in the same time pocket as them, I think. She okay, gets so your guys' homework for, for the next later. session is going to be uh, watching Primer. <laughs> what would you do that? Like, if you were like, time, like if she's like in a fat, like a slower time than us, then like, would it be like a voice from the future coming? Or if she just wouldn't I'm get crimes. it until two days later. Like, I don't know. Yeah. No, it'd just be such a point about. about intelligibility. Donnie Darko. Oh, God, yeah, that's another thing, too. Like, <laughs> It's just a single noise oh. to her. Just, ah, how does we'll, relativity we'll play to we'll, that? We'll walk uh, as we basically, talk because point, message uh, is instant, we... uh, it would it wouldn't affect it at all. Mm -hmm. The the way that it would uh the way that it would just happen two days is later. Uh, essentially it would be going back to her it's whatever her right? relative time is. So let's say yeah. that her time is moving the same as where you guys left from. It would be going back two days where you guys are now because mm -hmm. that time is the same as the time where you guys are at now. And then she would be sending her message essentially to where you are at now. You just happen to be two days in, uh, in the future relative to where she is. Good Shane, you're explaining just, all you're that just, bullshit in 25 years Yeah, you're just setting up that joke from Spaceballs, <laughs> man. <laughs> when is... Here's the thing. You guys are now, all... Now. You guys are, you guys are all <laughs> right at now. the same time. It's just the things that are around you are moving at different speeds. So we're looking yeah, for sort of John thing. Connor. <laughs> yeah. <What's going> <laughs> God will see if you are the lady. You know, Shane isn't necessarily wrong. Theoretically speaking... Like, if you shoot a laser beam at a black hole, the speed of light doesn't change. 
It's just it seems to go slower based on where you're at. Yeah. It's yeah. Of relativity. So in that instance, you would still be able to talk to someone. But as the message goes out, it would speed up in time, and then as it comes back, it would slow down in time. And and the change out would equal the change in, so you would still talk pretty much in real time. Yeah. It would just, on the calendar, so to speak, you would be four days, uh, four days ahead. So, like, when you drive big truck, you feel slow, but when you drive small car, you feel fast. That was really good. <laughs> no, I, so, when, you, it, when you're I, on a I, CB I, radio I, in big truck, <laughs> you still talk to I, other CB radios. See. <laughs> yeah, I could see Habs like going back to that forest that had a similar effect and like, trying to figure stuff out later on. If if we get to that, uh, like that could be like his. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, or whatever. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our Star Trek explanation. His <laughs> yeah. post camp. So it's the only other quest. place that had issues like this, right? I think. Where yeah, yeah, you guys. Uh, like I said, the the yeah. other place where this happened was in the forest. Essentially, yeah. the reason that this is happening is that the tree that just appeared is one of the ones that is connected to the first world. Swirl, and yeah. the first world yeah. doesn't follow rules like yeah. our, like the prime material world does. Essentially yeah. because it just stayed in beta and they're like, uh, the, 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 we don't need to fix these bugs, it's fine. We'll patch and, it in later. <laughs> yeah, they patched it in a later release. <laughs> it's essentially yeah. what ended up happening. Yeah. So I think, I think ha yeah. Habs would probably be making plans in his mind uh, after the campaign to uh, maybe visit the uh, jungle, the forest once more. Um, yep. I guess that makes so, him an optimist. Uh, also, <laughs> one of the things that you realize, I think, have about this is if you find a place with a suitable. Um, a, a suitable like relative time speed you guys probably could um uh afford to take a long rest yeah that's only seconds too. would go Ooh. by yeah that is, that is that something halves would realize with the uh, i think so yeah potentially yeah, that's that, what that's i was trying to helpful. see if uh, but the problem is, is how do we out. know how do we if time always relatively looks like it's going the same speed how do we know we could um, a pocket watch because when you enter a new place, like back. like you entered a new place here, a couple of days have gone by. So you know that time here relative to where you were is moving much faster. So we should yeah. get out of here. Yes. Before. Well, no, because this is outside safe. of here. Outside of here, time is moving much no, it's, slower. It's, we're in Narnia It's the now. opposite. Oh, I see. <laughs> I see. Yeah, it's, it's, it's relative. This is my fourth time somewhere. anomaly That's... next week, so like, <laughs> yeah. Okay, I would definitely make that common knowledge amongst the party in so many words, um, but obviously we'd have to be very careful about picking where and, and how. But uh, <laughs> so I, yeah, I, say that I think that's no. no. that I think, I think smarter there. people than Knox need to tell Knox. To I think to that's sleep. the reason that that Hab Habs was like, no, this is important. We have to go over this, and spent like yeah. You, guys, okay. uh, you know what? I Actually, feel less bad. <laughs> um, how much did I, I I'm going to give you a, a retention roll here. Yeah. 50-50. You remember half of it. I, mean, I, I <laughs> he, he agrees. So to it actually takes you guys like hours. By the time by the time you guys like figure this out, like so you guys figured out it had only been an hour or so. It's been a couple of days mm -hmm. in here, so uh -huh. time is moving pretty quickly. Oh. But by the time Habs is done explaining everything to you, the sun is um like pretty low in the sky. Um, uh, Damn it. and during that time, the time that you guys spent, Two I more am going to need you all to make a fortitude save. Ah, man. I'm so glad I built fortitude into Mer uh, Bernie now. I'm glad I still oh. have a hero point. <laughs> That's why you get a 20 on. All right. Am I permanently immune now? 
All right, you're fine. Oh, I don't have a hero point left. Well, have I fine. Did I hear? Knox oh, no. is. Uh, he Sam, failed, you though. are fine. Uh, I'm not going to. So, Knox, you I still the pass the saving throw, but <laughs> you guys notice a little something a little weird happening with Knox. He seems oh. fine. Nothing's really happening to him, but. Just a weird the guy. roots of his normally <laughs> snow white hair turn I green. I knew you were going to go there. Oh. <laughs> I knew it was going to be something with hair color. That's where my mind went. It's like, oh. That, like, Does like look- greener than his skin. Mm-hmm. Like, his skin is a pretty, like, sort of darkish pale green. Like, these are bright, vibrant uh-huh. spring green. My green's That's- leaking. He's does got he, pine needle ears. Does he look younger, hair. or so, does he look younger in general, or is it just the hair kind? No, of? No, he's or, pretty or, normal, but yeah, he's uh, just yeah. It looks yeah. like his hair is turning green, for whatever reason. Hey, Knox, uh, you okay. and me together make one hell of a great Christmas decoration. Christmas is just evil for colorblind people. I, I gotta tell you that. <laughs> we get it, Saw. So you have a disability that affects your daily life. <laughs> Why did they have to do green and red? It's all the same. Um, <laughs> but, yes, after closing that up, I think... Uh, I, you know what? I think eventually Habs was like, okay, well, if I'm going to keep explaining this, he took the time to like actually go out and like bring in some like crates and stack them up so he had like an actual podium that he could stand oh, wow. on <laughs> and like created a miniature uh um lecture hall and was like going over everything for like a few hours people were like raising their hands and asking questions i that's at least how i like to imagine the whole thing went i i a- love it having, yeah a- let's <laughs> make it happen Awen, having more or less grasped it, is busying herself setting up the Explorer's <laughs> Pavilion. She's like, we're not going anywhere tonight. But, um, you, I think, now that you guys have uh, a good grasp on everything and are ready and <clears throat> um, willing to go and have all of the information you need, mm. I think that is a good place to end for tonight. We will see you next time uh, for more science nonsense with Bad Dice Club. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Thank and, you for and, joining us. Have a good night, Saul, everybody. Saul wasn't lying. Next time. Go watch Primer. Watch Primer. Yeah, right. well, no, because there's no like actual uh, time travel involved. No, I'm trying to get people to watch Primer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Don't Primer, come buddy. back So you watch Primer. <laughs> Bye.